pay no mind to me. You just want a nice house? I'll get there. You need to get monies because all the moving houses and bridges. That's definitely true. Interior design is fun. I, again, I'll get there. I'm in no rush. Hey, it's this game. It's time to sink them. Right, right, left, left, right. Alright, see? Already messed up. Left, left, right, right, left. That was close. Right, left, left, right. <clears throat> right, left, left, right. Right, right, left, 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 right. We almost there. We almost there. <laughs> right, left, left, right, right. That was spot on. That's the wrong button. Let's try that. Yo, what a fucking sink though. That was good, right? Sweet. <clears throat> We're ready to load game. Go. All right. Sick. I don't remember if I did anything on this evening. We'll see if I can go down. To I can. All right. So I didn't do shit. So I've been informed by speaking to one. All right, never mind. I can't go outside. That's a real shame. Hmm. What should I do? You need so much wood. Get chopping. Make sure you use the, the stone axe, though. I don't really need this stuff. I can just wait till I get a chance to read in some other way. I could study. Sojuro, do you want anything? Don't think that you'll be trusted just because you've been a good kid for three months, you hear? If I brew coffee, I will grow closer with Sojiro. Mm. Let's have a think real quick. Let's have a think. How close am I to getting knowledge? Somewhat close. Charm? No clue. Proficiency, no clue. Guts, somewhat close. Not kindness, no clue. So I've learned from Joey that study. What do you want to do? I learned from Joey that sure there are up. jobs, and these jobs, because I knew they were jobs, but I thought they were for money. These yeah. jobs give you stats. <laughs> I didn't know this. So what? the fact that they give me stats means I'm gonna be getting a fucking job. I wonder what the Phantom Thieves' goal is. Are they just choosing bad people to steal hearts from? Maybe someone's asking them to do it. Oh yeah, they don't have a form or something. What if it, you what if you make a quest there and they follow through? Then you pay us money. But yeah, um, so apparently there's like a flower shop that gives you kindness. What a refreshing what morning! A refreshing How you doing? I didn't know he was gonna speak it. 
didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support <coughs> online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. How the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? There's been three examples. What do you mean? I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. Uh -huh. People change suddenly and cause strange accidents or horrible mm -hmm. crimes. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? I guess, but the Phantom Thieves aren't what causing crimes to happen. They're stopping them. mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. Okay, Akechi. I don't know why you hate on the Phantom Thieves so much. They're just fixing the world. Be more packed than usual. Today's news... Superior crime ring reveals all the leader's confession has led to the arrest of key members. Sudden rampage, highway accident, the driver's death has been confirmed. House of Tokyo, come see the fireworks, July 18th. No, that's what we're going to do, I hope, for our celebration. Because he's a bitch. According to Joey, Akechi in the normal Persona 5 game, you didn't have to build a relationship with him. So he has more, I'm assuming he has more development now. Tests are coming up, everyone's studying. I know some of you rely on all-nighters, but I can't recommend it. That really messes up your information retention. Oh, speaking of, do you guys know the difference between short-term and long-term memory? The simple answer is that short-term memory is more temporary, contextual, but long-term memory sticks with you. In the short term, you're working with a hard limit. You retain only six, maybe seven pieces of information, but your brain's capacity for long-term memory is huge. It might even be infinite, according to some theories. So, Polyku. Uh, what do you think about all this? Short-term memories only stick with you for seconds at a time. That said, how long do you think you can retain long-term memories? Um, he wants to know how long you can keep long-term memories, huh? This is a tricky one. What is long-term memory, anyway? Memories that last a long time. That's the one. <laughs> Open your gates and you can come right around and get some wood if you want. Oh, there you go. So, if you keep it for a long time, the question is how long? Maruki mentioned something about the amount of memories you could store, right? Something like infinite yeah if you have theoretically infinite space for them then theoretically you'd be able to retain them for forever yeah i think so too so that's it long-term memories will never fade away this is it. what a dumb that's right. sequence of events that's right i'm impressed basically stuff encoded into your long-term memory never really goes away short-term memories become long-term memories through re reiteration it'd be great if you could encode all the test answers to long-term memory huh oh well, well can't always get what you want that's pretty smart. I didn't expect that. Maybe he's not so bad. Nice I'm on a roll today. Bump that knowledge. But at least you've got summer break once your exam's over. Do you do your best to study, okay? Yeah, memories never really go away. That means I'll remember my past eventually, right? No comment, Morgana. You're you're literally a, a unique case. Buzz buzz. PP. Seven eighteen. Marine day. Finals end on the 16th, so that should be good, right? What are you talking about? The Firework Festival. You're really quick to look stuff up like that. Impressive, Ryuji. It's easier to work when you get a get a goal in mind, yeah? Hey, we're in the middle of class. Talk about these things later. Yeah, yeah. Hey, are you listening? What's up? Pay attention. Am I gonna deke this? <gasps> yeah, okay, cool. We got it. That was an epic dodge. Is he a ninja? Hey. My charm is increased. Mmm, so charming. Ooh, yeah. Maybe the dumbest teachers I've ever imagined, though. Hi, Makoto. Hey. James Kuhn. Heading home? It's rare running into you at this hour. That reminds me. Do you remember the counseling Dr. Maruki's offering? It seems to be growing quite popular. I saw someone heading into the nurse's office just as I was leaving the school. The teachers say he's been well worth his time here, but I have a feeling there's more to his popularity than just talent. Mm. Maybe I should find out for myself at some point. Some point. Isn't this bad timing? What about studying? These both suck. What about studying? Naturally, that's so. That'll still happen when I get home. It's part of my daily routine. I appreciate your concern, but how about yourself? Depending on the exam scores, there may not be a firework festival for anyone to attend. Were you aware? Look, I'm a star student. I have Thames in my brain. I'm joking, but make sure you study well, all right? All 
I need to buy some more test prep booklets on my way home. See you later. Dude, Makoto's gonna graduate and she's gonna go off to college. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Kasumi! What a pleasant surprise. Are you headed home too? My favorite. Same here. I don't have club practice today. That reminds me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't we find a seat? Somewhere? Yes. <laughs> you also have access to the network. It's true. And you are Hi, Ketchy. It's been quite a while, Akechi san. And the same for you. Yoshizawa san, right? You two know each other? My father works at a TV station. Mm. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa san. I didn't know you knew her as well. Man. She's my friend. I'm not going to say we made a deal. He helped me out of a jam before, and now he's been offering me guidance. Helped you out of a jam, huh? I see. So, what were you two up I to? I asked her. She wants to talk to me. Oh, right. I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. All right. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before. Mm -hmm. I was chosen to be our club representative. Dope. Congratulations. This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our sure. little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. Sounds good to me. That would be wonderful. Does that work for you, Senpai? Yeah, but Akechi's paying, right? That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. If you take me to LeBlanc, I of swear course. to God. Lead the way. Don't take me to LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Okay, he didn't. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? Yo, I got like that I iced tea. I, I take it. Too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. <laughs> this ain't Animal Crossing. Well, thank you for the follow. <laughs> you missed Animal Crossing. We ended about 10 minutes ago. What do you have, Akechi? Whoa. <laughs> point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I've had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi san. Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweet bread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. Ah, uh, I wasn't listening. I was reading. I feel lied to. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? A social studies class visited the set of the TV show I appeared on. Yeah. Ah, that's right. Second years got to go to a TV station. Yes. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoots, and his way of thinking intrigued me. Can you choose for me next time? I can definitely see no. that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. Just because I want this to be my pleasure. You had mentioned that he's been I need it to be my experience. Guidance. Yes, like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could <laughs> Sounds benefit familiar. from it. You notice a lot of the similarities case, or familiarities for you. What's our game? Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked? Sure. No, go right ahead. Come on, Kasumi. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You love them. You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act, but I simply can't agree with their methods. Damn it. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? 
Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine. But in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. We didn't fix someone's problem so much. We more so made them admit their wrongdoings. I don't think that's... I don't think you're thinking... I don't think we're talking about the same thing here. It's not someone's problem when they're abusing high schoolers. That's like a crime. I'm trying to get people from Joe just throw after Discord to join the stream. I don't mind. I mean, as long as they're not gonna be rude and ruin chat, it's fine. We're very chill here. Society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves. I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Just know, if they ruin chat or they're rude, I do not. I won't hesitate to ban or timeout or whatever. So. Just please make sure you are appropriate humans. <laughs> Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society okay, where they're more than welcome here. Thieves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then. Got it. What do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? Um, it's a unique stance. I don't want to say she's not wrong, because they've done. E even if I wasn't, he's from Ma Magi. Hell yeah. I don't know what that is, but whatever. Because if the Phantom Thieves were, e like, say I wasn't part of them. I'm not a <laughs> if I'm not a Phantom. Thief. But that's them. The things that they have done to public knowledge is not solve problems. They've gotten people who were getting away with illegal crimes, whether it was known or not. You don't listen to a lot of dub anime, but that one's pretty okay. I'll take your word for it. There's a difference when someone's abusing children or literally a crime lord or stealing art and claiming it as their own. Maybe the concern is more about everyone standing I'd around them, standing by and doing nothing. Unique as your own opinions. Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? No. <laughs> I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject. To that was him lighter. straight up lying because he wants to be friends with Kasumi. I'm sorry. I should probably get going. Do I like JoJo's? I have interest. I've never watched it. I've just seen like memes or clips. It fits in the same. You got this. I don't need the Sam rooting for you. You know I am. Yes, thank you. It's more so. It fits into the same bill as most shows do, where I want to watch them, but I don't watch anything because I'm lazy. I just watch YouTube and Twitch all the fucking time. If people think the Phantom Thieves will fix everything, maybe they won't take initiative to confront th those people themselves. But when the police force fails for however long to even remotely track down a crime lord and then they do it and solve the problem, I feel like, whatever, I feel like it's a problem. I feel, I don't know, I feel like things are being talked about in the wrong light. So you had your friends over for a study session, huh? How'd you know? I think it's by me. I own the place, remember? I can tell what goes on here just by looking at the tables. I'm surprised he knew that we studied. You love JoJo? You got sucked into it? Very big fan. You dragged your GF with you? <laughs> Inspired the Persona ability? Because stands like Zawardo? I have no idea. Whoa. You were talking about. Hmm. Hmm. Who do I want to hang out with? <laughs> I have some new info about that actor. It seems like we're going to need a new strategy. I'd like to talk to you about it. Do you have time today? Mishima, you're going to have to be put in the back burner. I'm already bummed that tests are coming up. I'm in trouble for anything that's not English. I haven't been studying at all. Oh, maybe we could take some pro we could make some progress if we keep an eye on each other. Want to study together? Ah, on, maybe, and Star Platinum and Man in the Mirror. I don't know what we're talking about. 
Get better Shogi must practice every day. If you're interested in the lesson, please come to the church. Mishima, you're not even in contention here. On, love on, break out. But I feel like I should, I, I don't, I, 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 mm, er, I don't know. I get one action right now. And Beach Boy. I don't know what, what those are. Do I have a Discord channel? I do. It's very, it's very low key, but I will, if you type exclamation point Discord, that's it. Or if you scroll down, there should be a link that just says like Discord for all or some dumb thing that I named it three, two years ago. It just stands in the show manga. What did, okay. I don't know. It could have been episodes. I have no idea. Uh, on or I don't remember your name. Confidant. On is seven? Six. On is six. Is she close to anything? I don't know if the next level... Next level is eight. What's the girl's name? Nope. That's her. Does she have something next? No. But what is her next one? Joker's down here. Hmm... Who do I want to hang out with? Well, actually, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First things first, I'm the realist. But what we're actually going to do, I need to see how to get a job. This is important. Part-time job, huh? Well, you do need money. There are conditions for applying, though, right? You sure you got this. Part-time jobs are close to the past inclusion and charm and kindness. Cool. Some jobs require you have high enough stats for you can apply depending on the job. You may only work during certain times of day. So what kind of jobs are there? Triple seven, gain charm from customer service. Daily. I mean, this one pays more, but this one has a requirement. They're called stands because they stand next to you in a stand battle. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um. Well, none of these. I want one that gives. I want one that gives kindness. This could give kindness. The one that says to care for people. That would actually make a lot of sense. Is it gave for kindness? Uh. Mm. Doesn't think a lot of info for high schools. Check out other magazines. I want these magazines. Mm. Come on, Morgana. Mm. All right. Well, I guess not, huh? These are all just the same, huh? Okay. See, I'm learning so much about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't know much. I know they go muda, 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 muda. I didn't put a lot of effort into that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> what are your thoughts? They're the same. Okay. Um... <laughs> Be prepared to hear... Yeah, see, that's the one. It's good, but to be honest, it takes a good bit to get into. I'll take your word for it. I have no idea. I can feel it. I don't know. Don't know how to. See, Joey said the flower shop. This be the flower shop. Welcome. But. I don't know. I have no idea. See, I was hoping I would just understand. But I don't. So I guess... Hmm, took you a solid month to get into because it just wasn't really appealing. Wait, the flower shop was called that? Rafflesia? Rafflesia? That one. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. 
part one and two are kind of boring, but it'll make sense later. And disappear and diamond and unbreakable. See, I I heard. All right, well then we'll go here. Oops, my kindness seems kind of tough. Are you sure you want to do this? Let's do it. Okay. Hi, there's a flower shop. Would you like to order some flowers? Oh, you saw our ad. Thank you. We don't have enough staff, so we need help. As for what days we can work around your schedule, just come straight to the store next time you're available. We're in the underground. I'll be waiting for you. You got the job. Nice going. Imagine getting the job over the phone. Check what days you want to work your part-time job by opening the menu and selecting calendar. Well, this is the first time I've looked at the calendar menu. Can't work during exams, huh? Uh, I mean, look, we'll work tomorrow, sure. I don't know. Sure, I don't know. I, I mean, I can't work now because it's an afternoon shift. Whatever, so we have a job. Let's go hang out with... Fuck, I don't know who I want. On! I like you. Plus, we're studying, so maybe my knowledge will go up. Your big help, let's meet at the diner. Yeah. Kakuyan is a gamer, so remember that towards the end and listen for Kakuyan. You say you just can't deflect the air, make a splash. I don't know what you're talking about anymore, my guy. <laughs> that long sentence is tough. Try to think about what the underlying section means. Are you starting to understand how to dissect these problems? I think so. I'm so jealous you get a one-on-one -on -one study session with Lady Anja and she can hear you. Like, this is even a secret. It seems like you're making more progress than usual, too. Yo, triple knowledge? His Morgana's ear is 100% clipping through that bag I have. Do you see that? It's going, boop, it's right out there. I'm actually not so good at this because, I'm actually not so good at this because my time abroad. What? Anyway, time to study. Here we go. Do you think you could help me with the next match? Math next. What the fuck did I just read? I'm so tired. Let's stop here. One on one, yet somehow you're still here, Morgana. I know, right? It doesn't shut up. Connecting to the network. Why are we doing this? Morgana is just actually fake. IRL glitch. I'm about to hit cancel connection. Can't I, look? I'm busy. All right. If my PlayStation can't pick up the connection. Oh shit! Did I never? Hmm. I ne I may have never connected my PlayStation to the new Wi-Fi. That would make a lot of sense. The summer festival going on. I don't know. Daiba. Summer festival. Huh? How can anyone eat so much fatty food when it's so hot out? We love fatty food. You just don't get it. It's because it's hot out. We eat all that meat. Come on, let's check it out. I'll treat you to a skewer. Hmm. Summer festival, you think they'll have any A5 beef there? Well, you shouldn't worry about the finals. Well, yeah, yeah, don't worry. We're fine. We're fine. I hope rest of the phantom thieves. So glad the phantom thieves are all over the news. Yeah, they're really taking off since the whole Komushita thing. The legend of the phantom thieves started in our school. We're practically one of them. Eh. And, if, and who can't relate to what they're doing? Punishing corrupt adults to no... Up up to no good, the police should take notes. They should. But they can't. Quiet People down. sure are making a fuss about... Fuss even though it's right before exams. Behind Kom Kanishiro's arrest, there are the Phantom Thieves, the mysterious group that changes people's hearts. If you recall, there were simpler, similar rumors about the Komashida help, help the weak and crush the strong. Truly a modern legend of the Gentleman Thief. In the long history of humans, the Gentleman Thief has been seen briefly during times of turmoil. Now then, please look at this picture. Polycoon. Uh, yes. This picture depicts the final moments of Ishikawa Goemon. Goemon. You know he did something. Yeah, I know. He. Do you know what he did? I mean, he looks like he's about to toss this dude off the planet. You joined your Discord as a cat drink tea if you want a summary of part one. <laughs> okay. He also got my emote. <laughs> Lamau. I mean, he's definitely about to throw someone off the cliff. 
It doesn't look like fraud. It doesn't look like he's stealing something. It could be a fight. Missionary work. It makes sense. I'll go with Thames. Rip. Most famous thief. Why was he stealing a human? Only stolen from the rich and powerful and sharing with the poor. Goemon's exploits have been documented in many forms of media, like kabuki and novels. Stealing a child, right? <laughs> However, it's actually unclear whether or not Goemon was indeed a gentleman thief, rebelling against Hideyoshi, whose campaign had failed propaganda by the government to sully his name. The gentleman thief Goemon may be no more than an illusion made by varying motivations. In actuality, most heroes and gentlemen thieves throughout history are something like that. Let's make sure people don't think we're just an illusion. But before that, you need to study for those exams. Yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. We're gonna. Shut up. Shut up. It's open. Who's coming in to see my boy? Ah, Makoto. Welcome. Oh, you're the student council president. Nijuma-san, correct? Excuse me. All right, go for it. Thanks for hanging out. Low hanging light. Sorry for coming by so suddenly. Oh no, everyone's permitted to stop by whenever they'd like. I know the phrase counseling session can make some people nervous, but don't be. Considering you're the student council president, I'd rather they didn't force you to come here at all, actually. No. Well, I was advised to come, but I still chose to do it on my own. Good. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Please, there's no need to be concerned about me being here. Feel free to discuss anything. Uh, all right, yes. so I shall. <laughs> You're sounding more like the counselor in here than I am. Excellent grades, exemplary conduct. Wow, you appear to be the ideal honor student. Oh, not at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm actually a bit of a mess, and I always have to turn to others for help. Well, you sure had me fooled. Even still, getting help isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, it's wonderful that you have a support system. Indeed. Especially lately. I feel like I can't do anything right by myself nowadays did mm. something go wrong for you yes but it's nothing major i've come to understand all too well that it's a bad idea taking on more of a burden than one should mm. you really do seem like someone with a mature sense of responsibility however that may be why people around you especially the adults who should be protecting you rely on you so much mm. adults who should be protecting me had i been clever enough to understand that earlier things may have gone a bit differently for me you think so Makoto's turning it around on him. Yeah, I mean, she's got, she's intimidating. Look at her. Look at that posture. <laughs> ah, you live alone with your older sister, I see. Pardon me, sa my saying so, but it seems you've been through quite a lot. What? Honestly, it felt like the norm to me. But our lack of adult guardians has, has to have been hard on my sister, even now as well. And I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard for me too. Do you still remember them? Your parents? Yes. Hey, Not so as much about my father, admittedly, but my my mother, admittedly, but my father, without a doubt. In fact, now that I think about it, I may well have grown to be a bit uptight because of that. I see. Is that so? And are you doing okay now? Is your support system adequate? Oh. It's not as if I have a team of employees or anything, but I do have people that I'm able to rely upon. Of course, I'd never think of them as replacements for my father or my sister. No one could replace either of them. What I've lost won't ever come back. I just need to keep my chin up and push towards my future. Cool. Hmm, I like the way you put that. No one can ever be replaced, yet we need to keep pushing towards the future. Should anything come up with what up that you want to that you want help with, I'll be there to support you, though my skills are pretty limited. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the kind words. Blah, 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 blah. Ugh, I'm pretty ready. Somewhere. Well, who wants to hang out? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Been busy with all these new patients ever since that girl and her father came in, and this is all your fault, so you better take responsibility and help me out. Got it? Thing is ready for you. So. Alright, Takemi. Exams are coming up. If you start going well, I can give you a general idea of what they were like when I was the second year. What do you think? Want to study together? Perhaps. It's gonna be. I don't 
know if I want. I don't know who I want to hang out with. Listen. Got plans today? I'm still in the hallway. Let me know. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You saw something on Twitter today where, like, Maruki telling Ryuji. Talking to Ryuji and someone's like, no, we don't say it. It'd be like that. It's called trauma. It do be like that, though. Um. Hmm. Confidant. Okay, so. Ryuji's 8. He's almost maxed. I mean, oh, he gets one at 9. Ooh, that's actually very tempting. That's very tempting. Where is Makoto? Makoto? Am I blind? I might be blind. I... I actually don't... Maybe Makoto and Yusuke don't... No, what? Maybe I haven't... Ma no. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Very, I'm very confused. Why... Does Makoto not have one? I understand if Yusuke doesn't because I've never hung out with him. But I thought I hung out with Makoto once, but maybe I didn't. Maybe that was just a cutscene. Uh, I think I might hang out with Ryuji. Well, what was Takemi's level? I didn't even look. That's stats. Takemi, where you at? Yeah, that's... I don't care. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got Say. Blumow. Mm. I think we're gonna hang out with... with Joey's favorite. If I hang out with him now, I'll only have to do it like one more time. How close Yo. is our bond? Hey. Did it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go hang out with Ryuji. What are we doing today? Uh, let's go somewhere fun. Yeah. Where are we going? I think I'd probably pick somewhere with good food if it were up to me. Do I have anywhere for us to go? So this food there. Perfect dating experience. Let's go, Ryuji. <laughs> Ooh, ramen. I think the boy loves ramen. Let's go get ramen. Oh, the ramen place? Sure, I'm pretty damn hungry. Ryuji's good. Truly chaotic good. <laughs> he is. Whoa. The hell? The line's even longer than last time. They put out an ad or something? We're gonna look like... We're just going for the new fad, but my stomach's already in ramen mode. Come on, let's get in line. <laughs> Super freaking good. Down to the last drop. This stuff's worth eating, no matter the weight. And you've totally fallen for this soy sauce flavor, too? It was lacking in umami. If I ever said that out loud, I would... I would be pretty disappointed in myself. Um, should I just agree with him? You think he'll like if I agree with him? Honestly, yeah, I love it, dude. Soy sauce is good what? shit. I knew it. <laughs> I knew he'd love it. Right? Tokyo guys are all over this stuff. You're one of us now. Anyways, thanks for asking me here today. I'm all cheered up now because of you. Come on, let's get going. There's tons of people waiting for our seats. What if I want more? Hey. Looks like they're giving out presents. Here, you can have mine. Ramen bowl. I'm not crazy about crazy enough about ramen. He's showing that off in my room. Why not? Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta have that umami. I mean, I don't disagree, but it just imagine saying that out loud to your friend who's like, "Dude, isn't this flavor so good?" And you're like, "It was locking in umami." Mm. Let's 
run to the station and work that meal off. Maybe the last thing I'd want to do. You're back. You're it's pretty back. late. Guess I should head home. Who's hitting me up now? Exams soon. Exams are coming soon. You're not getting a jump on something without me, right? Right? If you're going to do it, you want to work together. I'm in serious trouble. If you want us to hang out again, we probably will. Umami is just Japanese word. It might be a little less pretentious here, there. You know what? That's fair. You have any info? Look, I'm not... I'm sorry. I, I don't care about you, reporter lady. <laughs> We're going to go hang out with Ryuji, because why not? It's a huge help. I'll be waiting in the dinner to be. Dude, we're just gonna keep eating. Me and Ryuji, yesterday, yesterday was on. We <laughs> just gonna get non stop food. <laughs> Studying with you really helps me focus, James. Though I'm having tons of trouble with these questions. How are things going for you? Uh, better than usual. Seeing someone in danger of failing his exams is probably extra motivation for you, huh? Yup. <laughs> Ooh, so smart. God, I'm so scholarly. His ears clipping through the yeah. bag again. Ugh, I gotta do this. How lame would it be if the Phantom Thief got held back by a grade? Held back a grade. Stop just saying it out loud. Guess I'll try super hard because you're here, James. Yeah, do it. Okay, let's do the rest. What have we Wanna been doing? Back? I'm pooped. Let's head out. Exam time. See, I could connect to the network. Maybe I should. I don't know. So, I just heard this, but apparently we're having a summer festival soon. I heard there's gonna be shit like kebab steaks, the hot stuff. Dude, I'm so pumped. Is there nothing but meat? What about studying? These both are stupid. Why wouldn't you just be like, yo, that's dope? Whatever. I wouldn't complain about there Come being on, nothing man. but meat. Well, uh, I'll figure it out. There was some English on the website, too. Oh, man, now I'm hungry. Let's get going already. It's so weird hearing them say there was English. I don't speak good English, but the whole game's in English. It's so weird. I get it. It's just weird. All the news on Kanashiro has distracted me from studying. So what if there's an honor? What if she's not a student? Why should you get special treatment results? Or I mean, what matter? You know, I heard the Phantom Thieves might be from our school. That can't be true. It'd be funny if it was, though. People who are Ryuji talking about being a Phantom Thief and they just assume he's emotionally mature. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a superior. You're not wrong. First day of your final exams begin. If an angle is, if angle C is 28 degrees, angle A and D are 88 degrees, what are the angles of B and E? Do some math here. Wait. Hold on. The angles of A and D together? Because otherwise, it has to be. Because otherwise, it's impossible. So we're at 116 so 116, you just 64, that puts us 174. Bam, 64. Ooh, we can do this. Let's see, an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Dude, imagine having this cat talk to you during your test. I actually wouldn't get anything done. I would, it would never happen. Explain the origin of Bowsy. In this hot weather? Well, oh, never mind. I think this came up in class. They were invented by that famous guy from the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? This name is not familiar. This name is not familiar. This name is familiar. You could hear like a grand on the table. You could have like a grand on the table, and I wouldn't have been able to sell it. Yeah, I mean, I, he's so he's just so annoying. I think it's this one, because the other two don't sound familiar to me. Yeah, the strangest of shoe. I think the story was about a river overflowing somewhere. Zhu Liang, Zhu Liang visited, and they were offering something to quell the river. Barbarian heads? Because he used, like, a fruit. It was heads, not skulls, I think. Or he used a wood carving. I think it was heads. That's it. Crazy story. And now... And that's how we came up with the Bazai, right? And the master strategies came up with the Bazai too. Offer them instead of the heads. I think you're right. The Bazai were invented as offering a river spirit to replace tradition of offering a sever severed head. You finished in time. Bing, bing. Ah, time up. is up. Humph, give up already. Imagine your, te your teacher. I want a sack of garbage. This dude's on tenure, 100%. <laughs> Now, 
this is the secondary phylum, we may begin. Write the name of a genus and genus of this organism. This was the red king crab. I don't remember us learning about snow crabs or horsehair crabs. So I think it's a red king crab. That sounds about right. What happened when the government issued paper and hard currencies in Japan for the first time? What happened? I don't remember what happened. It caused confusion in the time the government collapsed to cause riots. Uh, this one's not familiar. If they asked me which ones they gave out, I don't remember which one it was, but maybe I would have. <laughs> uh, Thames, do you remember? I'm going to say it caused riots if we don't know. I don't think the government collapsed. The government was giving too much paper money, but they didn't say what actually happened. I mean, like, this makes the most sense, right? If someone was just handing out money out of nowhere, I feel like confusion makes the most sense. Right? It makes the most sense in my brain. I don't know, let's just fuck, who cares? That sounds about right. It makes the most sense, so I'm glad it was right. Dude, I love the base so much. Next test. Let's get it's the started. weird dude. Today's the third day of finals. You ready? Begin. What is the English equivalent of the Norwegian idiom reigning witches? This was reigning cats and dogs. Sounds about right. Which of the following is another name for the sumo noodles traditionally eaten at Tanambara? Ooh. Starry Canal, right? No. Yes? It's definitely not these. It's one of these two. And I say starry because I remember we talked about it was like the Milky Way. Because that made sense. <laughs> was it Starry Canal? I don't remember. Thames, I need you to chime in. Am I right with Starry Canal? Because we definitely talked about the Milky Way. Because that made sense. Alright, well, we'll go with it. Rip, it was the silk. Unless it was a demon thing, but I don't remember it being demon related. Nah, it's fine. Last day, huh? Seems like some of those were kind of tough. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score, right? I didn't even get to answer that one? Okay. I mean, I, I got one question wrong. If I didn't get, like, an 80 at least, I'm gonna be pissed. My parents are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. You don't think they gave the answer to it? I feel that. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa san. I heard the school moved her exam period. What's up, Nothing Snack Man? Perks like that. Hey there. Why doesn't he have voice acting this time? Unless he said hey there and I didn't hear. I like this is what I thought of earlier. You know how there's always contention for like best boy and best girl? It's not even a question. He's best man. There's not even a choice. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? It was. Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. He'll be the best man at your wedding. <laughs> sure, I'll help. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has Ooh, a new angle. Rainy seasons past. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway. As I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Sure. Money troubles. No, I won't even say that. Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Sure. Okay, here goes. Oh, 
This is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Oh, no, no, none of this is real. It's not like one of the students came in and asked me a question. This is all in my head. Don't worry about it. absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people would do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? I mean, they'll probably be disappointed. That's like the normal thing. You could be disappointed. If they turn on them, they were never with them to begin with, and I don't want to think about it as stupid. Yep, that's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Sorry. Uh, you just have to keep trying, dog. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. Sorry. Those are some monster potted plants, though. You're right. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental Ow. solution. No, whatever. Fundamental solution? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. That sounds tough. Well, I can't deny that. Plus, it's a bit We don't even know who the Phantom Thieves hearts, are. Now that I think about it. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. I feel like I didn't say anything. Vision. Thank you. <clears throat> Is Bamber finally over? Uh, I'm so exhausted. Huh. I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. My kind of guy. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <laughs> <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever. It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kind of feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. And I'm ready for it. Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. You sure are on top of these kinds of things. He's got his priorities straight. I get it. He's into bonding. Now for the weather. Next up is the weather. Seems we'll continue to have localized torrential rainstorms all through next week. If you're heading outside, be prepared for sudden sudden changes in weather. Okay. I hope that means I can choose to bring an umbrella or not. The time just flew by today, huh? I thought it looked nice here, but it looks a bit dead. Is there some nutrients or something? That'll bring back some color to it. Nutrients. Let's go to bed. Well, I guess I can't do anything. What? All right, fine. Shut Let's up. Are we going to? Oh. By "Let's go to bed," you mean I'll go to bed. Hey, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about the summer festival. You remember the one I told you about? I think so. Come on, man. Well, I know so. Damn it. Come on, the whole thing with the kebabs. So, like... I completely spaced out on it until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So you want to go? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, I knew you'd be down. 
Let's make sure we invite Yusuke too. He's always down to chow. I did just remember that he said it might rain tomorrow though. Yeah, whatever. No way it's gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow. <sighs> How would he know whether or not it'll rain? Sheesh, all worked up over a silly little festival full of food of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself, but be sure to keep a low profile, all right? Let's turn in for the night. Yeah, just don't go screaming, the fan of these parties tomorrow! Oh, no, no sleeping in, got it? I'm gonna skip breakfast for this. For sleep? Am I gonna have a dream nightmare? Nope. What's up? I wish he just said, what's good? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. A favor? Sure. Do you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? Huh. Well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. Okay, so now Ryuji has two moves. I have zero. It's so hot. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. An itchy head tonight. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Mm. Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. Ryuji. A TV crew, eh? Better not stand out as Ryuji just screams. Bobs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Fuck, we shouldn't have looked less, like, more unique than the rest of the crowd. What the? Yeah, what do we do? Just calm down. Good point. We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. They got us. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up, make some real cringy <laughs> comments. <laughs> real cringy Give me comments. The <laughs> I mean, you could just say, like, fuck her right in the pussy, you know? Sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? <laughs> Okay. Uh, that was real dumb. I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> Why not just... I guess he doesn't want her to use any of this. Well, uh... Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Ryuji looking like an insane person. Too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? Pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Oh, right, my kebab. The lines for the food stalls were even more insane. What did I get? A snow cone? Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. Maybe it just tastes good. It's because we're together. Pretty poetic, dude. Yeah, it was actually well, pathetic. I came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? What thing? Yeah, thank you. I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, is that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? I have less of an idea what he's talking well, about. Such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go. 
sure. So that's it. It looks like it's gonna be a parking lot. We seem to be premature like a parking garage. Spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. No. Jumping the gun. Yeah, honestly, I have to decide with Morgan. Ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? <laughs> well, more food. Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits. Guess today. it doesn't matter what I want to do, right? Hmm? Hey, is that Yoshizawa? <gasps> Kasumi, hello. Do you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meet earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? No, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Go, go ahead without me. Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Uh, how do they not hear Morgana? I don't understand when he's That's just funny. in my head and when he is speaking aloud. Because he was clearly just in my head, I guess. Or they were totally gone and not listening. Bali Senpai. What a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Uh, did you come to see the stadium too? She's got cute outfits, dude. Same here. I love the I blue. She hits my color palette very nicely. Is there something wrong? Sometimes when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? No, but if you want to talk about it, I understand. in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? I just ate, but I'm 100% in. Oh, she was crying. Whew, that was delicious. What did I just witness? You sure packed it away. This sounds way ruder than the sarcasm of what did I just witness. This is like, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> this is like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. So the meet's done? Simply put, it was a disaster. No. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, <clears throat> my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Is it more of a mental thing? This is a real question. I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. What do you mean? Like a coach or like a sister? I have a younger sister. Boom! We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions. That's together. quite the promise. But this spring, she oh. died in an accident. I promised her we'd Fuck. take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. This is the dumbest question I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't want to say you are doing your best, because she's like, no, because then clearly my best isn't good enough. This is stupid. Is this really your limit? It's not over yet. It's like the best one here, I think. Just like, you got all the time in the world. You're four, well, no. If she's a freshman, but there's only three years. I don't know, she's like 15. I, she, 15 to like, seven she's no she's not older than five. she's she's not it's not over yet senpai you're right it's just getting started it is you just keep on rescuing me don't you i got you girl okay no more brooding there are still more meets left this year i'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as i can thank you so much for listening to all that now I feel like I've been recharged, mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> and apparently you're still hungry. Well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. <laughs> the best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. All right. See you later. Glad I could help.
What do you think the next target's gonna be? The only bad guy, right? We have nothing to be worried about. Apparently, the poster requests that do what you say. If they're talking about bad guys, it's fine by me. Keep it up. Why do we even need the police anymore? Well, no, we need the police. They need to, like, handle the petty crimes, but we got the big shit. Pee pee. Kasumi? No, Mishima. How could you, Polly? How could I what? If you, were, if you were going to some of the festival, why didn't you invite me? What did you say? How did Mishima know about that? They're showing it on TV. Something about it being hot in December, saying sweets are to die for. There's a bit with Sakamoto saying some really crazy stuff. Mission failed. Mission, what are you talking about? Look, my point is next time you guys are gonna have fun. Can I come along too? I'm a fan of these producer, you know. Are you kidding me? I hope Lady Ann and the others haven't found out. I was waiting for it to just go pee pee, pee pee. Here's our commemorative photo from the summer festival. At least that was the idea. It's certainly evocative. Well, don't let it get to you. Shit happens. It's actually under it's understandable, given the heat. Perhaps your hands grew sweaty and it slipped. Next time, we'll make sure we go somewhere we can actually eat. Agreed. It's, I prefer an indoor establishment myself. Preferably one with ample seating and free refills on water. Everywhere should have re free refills on water. What? Uh, that'd just be the diner again. And why not? It's a place of calm where one may par might also partake in delicious food. I mean, I guess. Man, all this talk about food's got me hungry. A cup of ramen hit the spot. I believe I shall do the same. Fortunately, I received... I recently acquired some high-quality bread crusts. Sorry. Bread crusts? Sorry I couldn't catch for you. I always forget how short my arms are as a cat. It's fine. Want to see a movie? On? Asking me out to movies? Feel like a movie? Everyone's buzzing about the summer debut. Everyone's talking about this chick flick Love Possibly. I get kind of weepy, so it's embarrassing to go alone. Can you come with me? 100%. Let's go. Yay. All right. Let's meet in front of the movie theater in Shibuya. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I got that job, and I just haven't worked there yet. Help her. Please. Help her. I don't care about the money or my social status. Please. I just need to tell her how I feel. Lady Ann's holding back her tears. She's totally empathizing. But the movie's right. A person's true value isn't what isn't about social standing or wealth. I feel like I was able to learn about love. Thanks to the craft of the cinema, I was able to enjoy the film on a deeper level. Hooray! What did I get? Charm? Kindness? Charm. Wow, I used up two pack packs of pocket tissues. It's a lot of tissues. I guess girls like me just want that perfect romantic kind of love you see in the movies. I see. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I let myself get a bit carried away. I guess it's just easier for me to talk about this kind of stuff with you. Now that I think about it, that movie wasn't geared toward guys at all, huh? But I'm glad you came with me. You're such a good friend. Well then, let's head home. Pee pee. Hello, Polly Senpai. Thank you so much for earlier. Now I can give it 110% tomorrow at practice. Spin the wheel, dude. I don't think this matters. You're not going to rest? Nope. If I take a day off, it'll dumb my senses. Next meet, I'll make it onto the winner's podium, I swear. I won't slip up again like I did before. I'll have some great news next time I see you, I promise. Hey. Looks like Yoshizawa is going to be okay now. <laughs> she sure had us worried. She's good. <laughs> time for the firework festival. Let's go. Do you like fireworks? I love fireworks. I'll just talk to myself about it. It's the biggest reason I love 4th of July. Today, the fireworks festival lets me meet at Shibuya at 5. Hey, Makoto, are you going to wear your, a yaku, Yakuda? Yukuda? Yukata? I don't know what that is. I'm planning on it. Yukatas are a great part of the summer tradition, and they truly heighten a woman's beauty. You love fireworks? Dude, they're great. I adore fireworks season. I hate... There were fireworks out today. I heard, like, M80s going off. That I don't like. 4th of July, even like that week, I'm all for it when they're like pretty, but if you're just lighting off like literal bombs, I'm not about it. My dog gets scared. I think we'll wear mine as well. <laughs> You've got one? How about you, James? I don't have a Yukata. Hey, I know. Why don't you come with your come without your glasses? What's the point in that? I don't know. You don't get you don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'd be sad just to wear normal clothes. I was just thinking he might want to go for a change of pace. That sounds great. You should totally come without glasses. Well, see you guys better not be late. 
Yeah, you know, let me just go look at the fireworks without my glasses. I can't see. <laughs> fireworks and yukatas really add to the feeling of summer. Even Lady Anna will be wearing one. Come to think of it. Oh yeah, there's a firework festival today. If you're going, be careful. Those things get insanely crowded. Yukata is a lightweight kimono usually worn to summer festivals. Mm. I want to do. Uh, we were supposed to. We were. My brother and his friend were going to be going to Japan this summer in August, and I was going to go with them if I could regarding school, which I could have gone now that I got into the school that starts in September. By the way, I'm wearing the shirt to that school because I have a free one of their shirts for some reason, and I was pumped. And then coronavirus happened, and now we're not going, and that's very sad to me because I really wanted to buy a kimono from Japan. <laughs> that's not a joke. It'd be nice to watch the fireworks with the Chiefs someday. We could watch them here at LeBlanc. Actually, no, we couldn't. LeBlanc. Am I actually going to go without my glasses? Just bring them with you, just in case. Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Mishima. Hey, I saw some disturbing news online. It sounds like they'll be really bad. It'll be really bad if it turns out true. What's it about? Well, it seems an insane group of is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. That's actually all I have to say, though. Sorry to bother you on your day off. What could he mean by an insane group? Good question. Let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Oh, uh, I guess that girl's wearing one. Holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Today's train news. Viral crystal tonight expect roads and transportation to be congested. Sudden weather change is imminent. Careful of sudden shifts and climate. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Uh, Probably a lot. This should be fun. He actually did wear it. <laughs> I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. I doubt that. They're just gonna oh, come super dolled up. <laughs> I've got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. <laughs> often say it that does too. suit him. I'll be honest. He's even got oh, the, the little way, sandals on. The exams. I bet you got a big fat It does take a long time to put on. I have no Shut idea. Up. We we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too. Wanna go together? Oh, are you getting it on? No, they're talking to <laughs> Yusuke, not us. Come on. Let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? I'm not going. No way. You can go. We'll both apologize to the others later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. What? Damn, you just turned them away. <laughs> Ryusuke's not chasing no tail. After them, then. So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, I love uh, Ons because well, it's no, like that, that's... bright ass colors. You know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy. He is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. He is always kind of gross, though. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Hey, you didn't say that. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. Likeable's not a word you use for him, Makana. <laughs> oh, that would be gorgeous. We're in anime cutscene mode. Good thing we're so tall compared to everybody else. Oh, never mind. Oh, the rain. 
Did we bring the umbrella? No, we knew there were sudden changes. Why don't we bring it? Look at him with his fan. Like you need help? Then why yeah. don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? <laughs> who is that? I feel like that one I feel like I should know who that is apparently. Or they want me to pay attention to them. I've never seen Oz's legs before. <laughs> Oh my god, is that thigh? <laughs> You're making a great point. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Mm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that You ran into car? Limo Girl at the park cleanup? Maybe. I don't know. She, I didn't she didn't seem super familiar to me. Well, she's got a Time to show your skills, Mona. I need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. Yeah, let's just keep talking about this. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. I made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? Oh, lame. Yeah, because Mother Nature cares. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? Shut up! I like the shade. <laughs> Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? That's how it should be. So that's what makes us cool? To be honest. I get it, Ryuji. You want to be famous, but that's I not why we're doing the this. World with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't gonna find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. Well. Oh, I say. So won't tell me, no matter what. Uh, should I hide? Should I, I duck behind the countertop? To say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Are you about to point a gun to his head? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks for the drink. Hey, hey we're not done here yet. What's wrong? It's nothing. That doesn't seem accurate. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Sure. Regrettably, the right, there she is. The recent psychotic breakdown incidents. Hack a girl who knows what we've said. The international hacktivist group Medjid has hacktivist? released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. What's your name? Medjid? Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will magnanimous. give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. Don't use our term you against us. Our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjit. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Medjit. why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Mm. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Medjed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoist justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? I mean, 
the, all I who <laughs> like come on I don't what are they stealing though still having trouble getting that part well it's about time I go home make sure you lock the place up also about the stuff in the fridge well I guess it's fine just don't use too much of it Okay. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Hmm? Hackers declared war on the Phantom Thieves? This is getting interesting. But why did the Phantom Thieves do something to them? Medjet is really scary. I'm looking forward to seeing how the Phantom Thieves deal with it. Medjet is such a lame name. At least Phantom Thieves is like cool new message from the chat room we got to talk about medjet you mean those guys online people those guys people online are going nuts over that was a weird sentence medjet that name seems to come from one of the obscure gods of the egyptian book of the dead i saw the news too for some reason they think we speak of false justice now then what exactly did you want to speak of regarding medjet well why don't we go after them as our next target what a sudden suggestion I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. All right, we can't... Well, you could say that, but, like, calm down on the, the slang. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Medjet is an organized group of such people recognized by the larger international community. So they operate on a global scale. That makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro, right? Then it's settled. Our next target is going to be Medjet. I wonder what... I wonder if they... If the NAV will get a hit if we put Medjet in. Right! This is... I didn't agree to anything. That's impossible. Yes, that name has to be a pseudonym. We don't even know how many of Medjet, how many people Medjet is. Oh, wouldn't we get at least one member as info if we tried to look into it though? Even if we did, what would we? How would we discover their location? The only confirmed presence of Medjet has been online. This is a greater problem than simply finding their keywords. Unless you have any more details, Ryuji. Oh. Hello? Oh, it actually just took that long. It seems he had suggested this without putting much thought into it. Come on, we can't hold, we can't back down now. People are all excited about it. Our reputation is going to plummet if we don't face this shit. That is true. If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Medjet has taunted us publicly, after all. If they are criminals, we cannot let them just, we cannot just let them be. Yeah, and we don't have any targets right now either. Hey, James, let's talk, let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. This is more of his thing. Sure, let's do that. Also, Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on it. It's highly unlikely, but sure. A world-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. I forgot. I forgot to post the audio, the photo I took today. Hey, not bad. Right? I'm a natural with this candy photography stuff. I hope for your sake that it was intended to be candid photography. <laughs> He's right. I didn't think of it. It's a shame about the rain, but at least it means today was a little more memorable. Yeah, but next time we can't miss the fireworks. Agreed. Still, it was almost impressive how swiftly the weather turned terrible. Perhaps one of us simply faded to bring rain wherever he goes. Can I go? I can go. Hey. I guess I can't go. I could read, but I could study. There's no guarantee that anyone in Medjet even has a palace. I know, it's very true. What else could I do? I don't think I have any more video games. I could read something. Ah, bitch, I'm not gonna study. Tests are over. Chinese sweets, baby. <laughs> Chinatown. Japan's largest Chinatown gourmet Chinese restaurants line the streets. 4,000 years of history. Take a walk through a foreign city. Enjoy the stall foods and tea. All right. What? Tell me. Everyone's talking about Medjet. What the hell is it? 
You don't watch the news much, do you? They're an international network of hacktivists. They target corporations doing shady business and cause chaos. The subways company serve a thing. That was Medjet, trying to find out who caused the train accident. So they're good guys? Uh, no way. Some liken them to digital Robin Hoods, but they snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Hmm, maybe. I will just have to pop in real quick. Medjet, those guys that claim to be modern day Robin Hoods, they dare call themselves heroes after those attacked attacks. They're fighting Medjet next. Phantom Thieves are amazing. I don't want to hear that about justice from some shady hackers. I don't care what happens as long as it's interesting. My kind of person. I just want to see some shit go down. <laughs> oh, that's right. Tests. Our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. Whew, I'm above the average. There's a real dividing line but my allowance is safe for now. I wonder what I did. I finished a little higher than the average score. That's fine by me. Well, it should set a good example for your friends. Mm, so charming. Maybe. So charming. Yeah, we take those slightly above average. That's fine. We were busy. It's not like I could focus on studying. What did you get, Ryuji? It's not my fault my scores suck, right? I mean, it kind of is your fault. You don't gotta throw the truth right in my face like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's something more important here. Mishima. You want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who? Yeah, let's just talk is? about this in school, by the way, in the huh. hallway. You weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. We love to just they talk in the out open. As hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude, don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. Bye. So, that was fruitless. I wonder if anyone else got any info. Machine was pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried to ask my sister, but it seems as though she didn't know very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime after all. I tried looking into them too, but I didn't come up with anything. There are really just no leads. Hmm, our opponent are truly, is truly elusive. No luck. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. We need a hacker on the squad. I know Hi, summer vacation is due to begin next week. But I have an unfortunate announcement. Uh oh, summer school. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. We hate Principal well, this Kobayakawa. This is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. On literally picks up her phone in class like this. Like she's not even subtle. How are we gonna find Medjet? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still manage to elude arrest somehow. Kanashiro was a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. Did we butt up more than we could chew? I mean, we haven't bit off anything yet. I'm not sure. Right, there's no knowing who we're, up, who we're actually up against if we can't see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what are we going to do from there? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. That's probably why my exams are going to shit, too. You know, those are two separate things, right? Damn, you. We need you, girl. Really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? Are you hacking our phones now, too? Mm. We can't identify who it is. There's nothing we can do. Let's wait to make a move. Oh, who's hitting me up? My body needs sweets. What you up to? Man, I really want to eat something sweet right about now, but I feel bad doing it alone. My heart is conflicted. How about it? You want to be my accomplice? Aren't you in the mood for some sugar? 
You should come right now. She must have hacked your phones because she already overheard a conversation. Yeah, but I thought maybe there was a chance that she hacked like a camera in our in LeBlanc, but I don't know if there was a camera there. What are you doing? I'm still hanging out in the hallway. Let me know if it comes up. Uh, who do I want to hang out with? Who's outside the student council room? Lakota. Hmm. Hans was just more compelling to me. Yes, then today. Let's get crepes. I'll be waiting in Shibuya. Hurry, hurry, hurry. She just wanted sweets. I love sweets. <sighs> Looks like they're not doing any famous double chocolate crepes today. I have the worst luck. Pee pee. Oh, an email. Hmm? Look, it's from the agency. I wonder what they could want. <gasps> Mika? At Skytree? Where's that? They want me to head over for a shoot now. Feels pretty familiar, doesn't it? Basically, this men's magazine is running a Mika special to try and capitalize on her recent popularity. But apparently, she asked for me specifically to star alongside her for the shoot. I wonder why. It's a trap! Th then should I say no? Oh, but I already agreed. Well, I guess I I guess I won't know what she wants unless I head over. Hey. Have you been to Skytree before? How do you get there? Uh, Let's go. Oh, and can you come with me? Actually, I've, been, I've already decided for you. You're going. Come on. Sure. A popular old town area known for Sensoji Temple and Tokyo Sky Tree and Nakama Satori and is a hit with tourists, colorful shops, and fresh streets. All okay. Right. <sighs> Alright, we made it. Wait, where's Mika? Oh, so you came for my special. You asked for me, right? Wow, I barely recognize mm -hmm. you. Did you lose weight or maybe change your makeup? The theme for today's shoot is the elegance of woman. So I conditioned my body to be more elegant. What? What do you mean? Controlling what you eat, how you move, that's all. It may sound easy, but it's pretty tough. You have to write down everything you eat, make sure, making sure to check the nutritional and caloric content. I even hired a personal trainer to take special note of my diet and oversee my exercise regimen. That's amazing. Does that mean you don't get to eat double chocolate with crepes? She's jealous. Of course I don't. I get fat with just one bite of that stuff. No, not one bite. Not to mention the other stuff I do. I take herbal medication, wear warming socks, do Pilates and yoga. Warming socks? Day after day. How many squats do you think I do in a week? Not many. You don't have. You don't look like you got the legs to do a lot of squats. I'm a natural beauty. Like you can never understand how much work I put into my modeling. You know, it's kind of embarrassing getting complimented like that. Sorry, did I say natural beauty? What I meant to say is natural airhead. What did you say? Who are you calling an airhead? Eek, on senpai, stop it! You're scaring me. God, what a bitch. Mika chan, are you okay? Man, cats fight cat fights are scary. Cat fights. Urgh. That's why Mika chan. Yes, that's perfect. It's exactly the expression I'm looking for. Giggle? I'm not gonna giggle. Wonderful, wonderful. Because I kind of hate her. I see now. This is a test. Yes. Well, I'm not going to lose. <laughs> Teehee. Um, Anchan, could you try being a little sexier? You mean like this? Why is that sexier? Oh, that's beautiful. Wait. Mika, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? I thought you looked up to me. You should have known that was a lie. But I guess you're just as naive as you look. Anyway, stupid amateurs like you really piss me off, so you better not drag me down, okay? You're amazing, Mika chan. Mm. Oh, you know the president of that fancy car company? Introduce me, please. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The owner even invited me to dinner. You know, working with all of you just makes me so happy. Yeah, that's definitely what it does. Um... I'm heading home. We arrived back in Shibuya. Aww. Why did we 
ask? It's so she could show you up. It's very obvious. I see. And she was just trying to be mean. I'm not gonna hide it from you. Like, you need to realize this. When she literally said, that was a lie. I don't like you. If that's the case, I probably deserved everything she did. Cheer up. I don't want to say, please don't cry. That's not what you say. I'm... I'm so pissed off. I feel you. Mika had to work super hard every day to get where she is now. She worked out, watched her diet, made friends with everyone. She just couldn't rely on connections like I did. She didn't become a model just for the heck of it. Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're all on, they're all totally different levels for me. Mika's amazing. Mika is, Mika is strong. Me? I'm nothing. Uh... Just thinking about that makes me so angry. I feel like I could explode. This whole time, I've just been pretending to be a model. It was like the clothes were wearing me. I mean, that's what I always thought of what being a model meant. But I was totally wrong. A real model draws out the beauty of the clothes they wear and casts a stunning magic on them. A real model is flexible, beautiful, and strong. Well, I've had enough pretending. I want to be a real model. Go get him, tiger. Right, I'll give it my all. I'm just going to take the world by storm. Just you watch, James. She gets all this height and motivation. I don't know what it does. All right. I'm so mad. This is the perfect time for sweets. But no, I won't eat them. I mean, I will, but not today. You eat some for me, James. Please don't start counting all your calories and wearing stupid warming socks. I don't know what a warming sock does. What do they do? What is a warming sock? Aren't all socks warming? Isn't that why you wear socks sometimes? To warm your feet? James, it's me. I've been pissed since I left. I can't help it. Well, I'll say it again. I'm taking the modeling world by storm, and I don't care what I have to do to get there. Obviously, that means dieting, cutting back on food. No matter how tough it is, I'll do any workout. You got this. Yep, I'm so sick of the feeling how I, feeling how I did today. It was the first for me. Actually, feeling this pissed off, I mean. Usually, even if I have a crappy day, I just get over it by having snacks, watching TV, and sleeping it off. But this time, it's different. I want to change. Tomorrow, I want to be better than I am today. I'm going to start my stretching session. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Like, I have no problem with someone counting calories. That's fine. Warming socks sounds like uh, the stupidest shit I've ever heard. So I looked into Medjed. Did he find anything? As you know, Medjed is a god that appeared in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? Its name apparently means the Smiter. Ow. That se it seems nobody is actually sure that Medjed is a real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. As unseen and unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. He truly is an elusive being. Dude, everything about his existence is shrouded in a mystery. Wait, if fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead in all depictions of him. Taking all of this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. I see. I hope this information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? That's enough, thank you. <laughs> so, we still don't have any tangible clues. Someone like An, who was very, who was a very healthy weight, shouldn't be counting calories. It's just a recipe for disordered, disordered eating. Maybe if she was actually overweight, it'd make more sense. You're not wrong. Takechi, I'm never, I'm literally never gonna go see this lady. Like she always is in contention with someone else. I'm in Kichi Joji right now. I found myself in a bit of time in my hands. If you feel so inclined, you can hear the chat while I'm here. Hmm. Kawakami or Akechi? Where's Kawakami? There she is. Oh, shit. That's pretty sick. What about Akechi? Is this him? No. You understand why I thought Prosecutor could be him. I just didn't read the name. Well, no, I read the name. What, you know what I mean. There's Akechi. Chance to reveal all the one of these affinities at the start of battle. They both have 10.
I feel like I could call Kawakami whenever, right? But Akechi is like, not all the time. So we're gonna go hang out with Akechi. Let's go to the cafe we visited the other day in Yoshizawa-san. With Yoshizawa-san. Don't worry. My treat, of course. Yeah. Your treat. I wouldn't even argue against that. We're both in high school. <laughs> the cake here is fairly popular. I've been wanting to try it myself. Got a sweet tooth, huh? Well, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not exactly partial to them. Fads tend to be fairly similar, so I'm more curious about its popularity than its taste. Well, why don't we give it a try? Mm. Hello, Pika. It was quite nice. It was delicious after all. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I would. Hey, look, isn't that him? Oh, you mean the guy on TV who's on TV these days? What was his, who was he again? What was his name Akechi Kun? You know, the next generation detective prince? We should ask him for an autograph. Might be something worth bragging about. Uh oh, looks like I've been spotted. <laughs> Should've figured. She's just here for the cake, I'm guessing. But I'm sure she doesn't mean any harm, but I don't want to cause any trouble for the store. Huh? Is someone important here? Who is it? <gasps> is it a celebrity? It looks like I'm all out of time. I wish I could have relaxed a little longer, though. We should go. You've done nothing wrong. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I think it's best for me to leave. I'm only going to cause problems if I stay. A shame I don't have glasses like you. Maybe I would have been able to get out of this situation. Huh? Come here a sec. Take my glasses. They'll never recognize you with my glasses, Clark Kent. What are you? Totally a different person because they have the anime sheen on them at all times. You can't recognize me. <laughs> the game so far is good, Pika. It's good. I'm beyond Joey, so if you if you don't want to know anything beyond where he is, I understand. Oh, he's back. This time I'll get his autograph for it. Huh? Is that boy really a catchy coon? You know, now that I see him up close, I'm not so sure. Maybe you were seeing things. I don't remember the show too well, but I'm pretty sure it didn't look like that. Aw, if it was the real thing, I could have bragged about meeting him. Man, that is the dumbest scene I've seen in my entire life. They actually just did a Clark Kent Superman. But, like, while people were looking at him. I can't believe you actually did that. I suppose I'd better learn to watch what I say around you. You looked great. Is that so? Well, who else could... Who else could make a peasant of the detective prince still there's no knowing how things may go unless you give it a try hmm. thank you. i think i've learned a valuable lesson thank you chain him up all right looks like our coffee's gone cold why don't we order new ones well if you're paying by all means see you, I'll next see you later time. those glasses make you look like a peasant <laughs> he did just say that to me i guess Hello, it's a shame our discussion was interrupted today. I was rather enjoying enjoying having a breather with you. But you certainly surprised me today. I can't believe we got out of that with such a basic trick. It was an interesting experience, but I definitely don't want to go through that ordeal ever again. I saw firsthand what happens if I'm when I'm too careless with my words around you. Wasn't it fun? You didn't like it? You have a twisted concept of fun. It was just a goof, dude. Calm down. Lighten up. Loosen up. Loosey goosey. So if you dressed as me next time, I think I might agree. I could use a stunt double. You and I aren't terribly different in height. I'm sure my clothes would fit you. All right, now you're getting weird. If we do this, it'll have to be a carefully planned, of course. I'll be dictating everything from hair to accessories. Nobody would notice the switch, I'm sure. We've proved it today. Most people can't see beyond the superficial. Whoops, I have an early start tomorrow. Well, so I'll have to excuse myself. See you then. All right. That was weird. Oh, we're going into my mind palace, a.k.a. jail. I guess I can't call things a mind palace, because in this game, that's bad. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. What did I do? One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by trouble. Oh, we're talking about Medjay. You mean Medjay? <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. I'm glad you can. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. 
Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. I don't know what Igor's plan for me is. Like, what is he trying to get me to do at the end of the day? He's got to be doing something. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Majed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the oh, Phantom God. Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Are they not entertained? They're probably entertained. Entertained, huh? That's what I'd have to guess. For the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. How many interviews I'll does this around. dude have to go on? Like he's the goddamn president or something. I don't get it. Hasn't been any news in the Phantom Thieves vs. Medjed showdown. Which of them will come out on top? They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. If you ask me, Medjed causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon. But you gotta tell me. Who do you want to win? Or who do you think will win? The Phantom Thieves. Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Thanks. Got a lot of messages from an unknown account. Oh, it's the hacker girl. Nice to meet you. I'm the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Was one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There's someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjet, correct? I can give you the information on them if you change... If the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? I'm not gonna say you got the wrong guy. Who is this? Can't find the account to send a response to. I'll get back an error message. You can't reply back. I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Hmm. Interesting. Medjed, what could ha what is happening in this country? It'd be hilarious if the honor student fell off the podium. Yeah, well, Jesus! Is it over for the Phantom Thieves? Hacking? I have no idea what that's like, but it sounds scary. I think they were getting a little cocky. They, they got what was coming for them. What? Yeah, everyone read this. Considering he mentioned Even you, Yusuke. Hearts? It's upside down. He knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How will we find out? Probably because we talk we about it everywhere. How careless of us. How would he have known all these details for just that? You think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? Probably. I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. Ugh, I told you that back. I don't know much about it. Wait. <sighs> Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Could this be what is referred to as hacking? Hacker? I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I'm gonna open my window. I'll be right back. Then, is this person Mejed? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, 
Wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out <laughs> to be I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. We keep assuming this person's sort of gender. Of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so some Party at my place. For long hours. How about LeBlanc? Who would have guessed? LeBlanc. Brought the crew. What's up, Sojuro? What happened? What did Say send you? Oh, <laughs> what's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. Nijima Senpai. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Yeah. He's Something he knows on? your sister. Your sister's fucking no, with them. it's nothing. A student council president. He does know Nijima. <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojuro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. Well, not everyone. Mona way, calls you chief. That was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and. Oh, I thought he read me. my mail. Right. That one's for the me. Got it. <laughs> We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah, really, they have. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they Quite arrive. the bold claim. Oh, come on. It's in English. Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. It's been like two days. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjet. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Doesn't that That's make them sound like a super great corporation? We are mean? unseen. We You're are magic. They'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. But all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that you've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? We certainly can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't know, it's my mail. Trouble. Let me read it. It's rare for you to get something like this. That's true. That's fair enough. I don't know what that says. Calling card. Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? Well, no. Maybe that's the what calling the card for the person here? that they want us to to change their heart on. That would make sense because we don't know who they are. All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Pee -pee. Let's brace ourselves oh. and stand by in case anything comes up. Oh dear. 
You think that's what Morgana's implying? The necessary tool to call him out. Well, that's what Alibaba called it. They said I provided the necessary tool. I thought it would, the necessary tool would have been to prove that they can hack, like they could have hacked Medjet. But that made less sense, I guess. I really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up in everything. The shutdown between the Phantom Thieves and the global organization. Showdown. Medjet is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro-Phantom Thieves, most likely because of what happened with Kaneshiro's case. Those on the other side say Medjet are hackers of justice, but there's just nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday, I want the whole site to be filled with pro-Thieves comments. I'm looking forward to when that day finally Ethan arrives. Ethan looks forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjet. We're going to be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Deep trouble. <laughs> First, that all of Arbor Cafe now. Blank calling card. What the hell is going on? Can I leave? Thank you. Can I leave? Leave? Hey! <sighs> God damn it. Fuck. Hey! I can study. Hey! Or I can clean. I'll probably clean then, right? I don't know. Let's see. Definitely close to knowledge. Somewhat close to charm. No idea. Somewhat close to guts. No idea. My poor kindness sucks. Maybe I'll just continue being knowledgeable. Oh. What do you want to do? We'll keep being knowledgeable. Dude, I like that he flicks his pen and does the fucking shit with it. It's sweet. Well, then. It's always a satisfying thing to see. Where am I? Did I not load in? Why haven't the Phantom Thieves said anything? Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's unsettling not knowing what they're going to do to us. They're declaring their victory. What does that mean? I wish, I really wish they'd stop that. Okay, so that was just a little unclear. Hi, Good Kasumi. Good morning, Senpai. <laughs> Every day is so hot. I have to do my water bottle so fast. By the way, summer break is coming up. Could I ask what your plans are, Senpai? Got nothing. <laughs> Oh, so you're not the type to make plans in advance, I see. Then maybe we'll have the chance to practice some more. I'll be sure to give you proper instruction. Just let me know whenever you're available, senpai. Oh, the train is here. Let's get going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. BP. Hey, oh, no, it's in. definitely Alibaba. I like that Morgana knows my phone is ringing. Not me. Morgana's like, your phone's ringing. It's in my pocket. Did Alibaba message you? Mm, he's just... Nothing? Let, let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Don't worry, I'm on top of it. It's my phone. I'll let you guys know. Alright, well, someone else. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? It's probably not Ryuji this time. <gasps> oh my god. Good day. <laughs> Good day to you too. <laughs> it's too funny to me. Ah, you responded to that. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the fan of these, correct? Who are you again? I already said, I am Alibaba. I take it you received the calling card. So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Who are you again? <laughs> I'm in class. Hmm, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I prepared a quick calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? What are you talking about? Hmm, stealing a heart, of course. Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We Oops, what did he say? I can't look back. I need a name. A name? Is your heart thievery truly po impossible without such information? Just tell me. I see. I, s I suppose calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. Wait a minute. Futaba. The student? 
Wait. Wasn't Futaba a student? Am I wrong? If you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity and the world and to the world and to the police. Well then I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Who is Futaba? So, well. So he threatened you, then just took off? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, so. Tell him we need the name of the target. I did. Okay. Sakura? I See, I also feel like I've heard the name. name before. Futaba is the girl who's spying on them. Which I think makes her Alibaba. Maybe she's testing them by giving her own name. I don't oh, know. We should let everyone know about this. I do not know. Futaba sounds familiar. Yusuke, just fucking. Ugh, he's got a headache. What the hell? Futaba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura. His boss's last name? Yeah, that I knew, but his name is Sojiro. Does he? I don't know who Futaba is. The name just sounds weirdly familiar. Way back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. No, why would I be introduced no, to his this family? Situation ever? does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps they said her name in the prologue. The Maybe I don't know. Up. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that she's one doing reconnaissance in that opening by. scene. I see. Hmm. I don't know how Alibaba got Weird. a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. I actually don't know how you bring that up. <laughs> hmm? What's up? These are the most direct questions I've seen in my entire fucking life. This one's this one's just like it's beyond ridiculous. Like, how do you? I want to meet Futaba. No. I, I you'd be like I've heard that someone dropped the name Futaba Sakura. Do you know them? Are you like? Why do you know about that? Hmm. Got nothing to do with you. I agree. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. <laughs> hmm. Beep beep. Oh, I just remembered. James, were you able to ask Boss about Futaba Sakura? He didn't want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm. Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Medjet. I wish we could get more info about, about Futaba out of the boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I, agree, I owe a great deal to both boss and James. I don't wish for this to be a source of discourse between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for boss to bring up the subject himself. But how much time do we have? Ugh, you know, we might not have very long. Doesn't look like out. Oh, making Alibaba talk will be easy. I wonder if we're gonna get the information we need. I don't know. I have something. Hey! God damn it! I just can't do anything. Oh, what do you want to do? So I'm just gonna keep studying, become a genius, because I can't go out. <laughs> oh, dude! I'm in. I'm in. I'm encyclopedic. I've never seen that word All written right. before. I'm a genius. Futaba. Why are we connecting to the network? Stop.
Yo. What's up? Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related Let's to just boss, talk about this in the alley on the way to school. It? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. I mean, it was a good idea. I like that we don't walk together. I just walk in front of them. <laughs> you follow me. I'm the alpha. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget there's an urgent assembly Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual member of number of strange incidences here. Don't do anything stupid for break. Got it. Don't go someplace shady like the red light district. And don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. You're a cat. Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. You hate the rain. You want to jump in cold water? Bitch, you crazy. Mm -hmm. Ryuji might be right, we don't have a single, single clue, might as well try, we've got nothing to lose. Let's go to Yun, Yunjin and gather information. Alright, well, didn't have a choice. Hello. Futaba, Futaba, yes, I know that name, heard it somewhere before. Ah, yes, his name the teacher had a crush on. Well, big help. Sakura-san's single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm, you wanna listen? Bad things they decided. No facts, rubbish, bad things are real. Yeah, you don't matter. Da, 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 da. Hmm, humdy dumdy doo. Utaba, no, no, I don't know who that could be. Utaba, who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? I'm a grown boy. It's just you and him, then you're been eating enough or two, right? If you have to have one, tell me you actually don't eat them, maybe it's but also he eats a lot though. What? Alright, that was weird. Futaba, who's that? I don't think I know anybody that way. What are the crew saying? Futaba is somewhere around now. No, well, good thing the mailman is here. Futaba. Nope, don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura sans often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. I mean, I guess that's not the most far-fetched thing. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there. Mm. Oops. Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. He owns Come a cafe. Again. Might be perhaps he's serving it to customers. Great point. Mm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. What if we just, like, peek in his window? No. <laughs> I say. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What happened? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9%. .9 right, say, calm With down. These suspicions of abuse. There's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it. You also shouldn't be having this conversation in topic. front of me. You should be like, can you please give us a minute? As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. That was the weirdest turnaround I could have imagined her doing. <clears throat> woman is real good at pissing people off <sighs> what's with that look you got something to say i mean i just walked into that 
custody? This doesn't involve you just said you'd lose custody. Is Futaba your daughter? Uh, that's enough. Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Sojuro. Lock the store up. I can maybe help. It's a maybe. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. PP. Yo, how'd it go? You find anything about Futaba Sakura? I've been wondering about that too. Uh, I'll tell you tomorrow. Woohoo! So you did learn something. Fine. Fine work. I knew we could count on you. James can thank you. Alright, let's all meet up tomorrow. Not great. It's kind of happened. I still can't go anywhere, can I? God damn it, I just want to go out. Uh, we'll do kindness. Yeah. It's been so many days in a row where I just can't do anything of my own choice. All those days with exams, I couldn't do anything. These past, like, three days, I can't do anything. It's just like, oh, Stop connecting to the network. Why is Sunday red? Normally Saturdays. A woman no, who's threatening boss? Yeah. It's your she sister. Going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Um. What's up? You know it's your sister. It's nothing. You know it's your sister. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I I don't think so. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Uh-oh. Alibaba. Is it Alibaba? Listen to the music. Oh, it is. I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why, are, why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. Selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Tell me her keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. Meet with me. That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That is why I'm contacting you like this. You can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. Yeah, I just go... I'll just reach in there. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling off this deal. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time, and now if you'll excuse me. Wait. I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. All right. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Mejed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. She wants since. to change her own heart. I bet we got him freaked out. It's you quite a, an interesting claim. We'll change their hearts? If you're right, Thames. Yep. Now to just make him look lame if they came out and apologize. Agoraphobic. Mm, but, maybe. I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? No. You do have a point. I don't think so. I guess it is safe for us to relax <clears throat> a little. Oh yeah, remember Kanashiro's treasure? Prepare to have Let's your mind blown. Let's just talk about blown. it out loud. We got 
150,000 yen out of it. That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. Gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. Luigi's a Craigslist master. <laughs> Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? I fucking hate sushi. Dude, I love sushi. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. I wonder if all that Medja's business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal was to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Huh, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too, especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now, though, we should cautiously eat the sushi. That we, that, that is all we can do. Yeah, but it's no fun. Mm, Yusuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before a celebration party, too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who, though. You better not be talking about me. Eh, you know. Someone. Can I go out? Mm. I don't know. Thames has a theory that could be true. Hey. Fucking, I just want to go. Hey. I just want to do stuff. Ah, it's so frustrating. Well, it's only one bit of kindness. Like, it's not even worth anything. I guess it's worth something, but it's so small. Stop! Oh, I guess it's red because summer break. You seem quite busy, Sai san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of stuck everything. Stuck in the middle of everything. The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kanashiro. Yeah, because y'all suck. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. <laughs> did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? I hope so. I would like it How catchy if he did that. How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? Ooh. You may think it absurd. But don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What case is she what are pursuing? You basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is How that is that much? their true action? When they've There's only done three the things that, that were that good. Claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. The mental breakdowns? But I mean, hmm. why is she coming to Sojourn? Having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Oh. Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for I guess victory? that has to do with all of it, then. <laughs> Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No. Not at all. Well then. I literally have no leads to... anywhere. I mean, he's probably right that they're both connected in the metaverse, but obviously it's someone other than the Phantom Thieves. Well, no, I okay. agree with that part. But, like, us as the Phantom Thieves has clearly shown that we're going to do stuff. But I guess, I don't know. Famous for luxury shopping, its property values are the highest in all of Japan. Oh. 400 trans size from the shops, cafes, up plenty. If you're tired from shopping, get tea. All right. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, I haven't been able to do anything. What just happened? Oh, I guess we're like, oh my god, it looks good. Man, the flounder is out of this world. That's extra. I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. <laughs> so good. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Get your horses. And don't talk. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse? Someone? You've already asked me this, and I said I, I no. I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means I mean, I agree with you, but he doesn't see. I feel like he would have been meaner to me. He was stern, but he wasn't abusive. I don't even want to say he's pretty strict. Like, I have freedom. I can leave. He leaves the shop to me. I feel like there's no chance. I genuinely hmm. think there's no chance. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guard. He would. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and uh -oh. checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Oh, okay. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait. You think Alibaba could be boss's ex-wife? I maybe. He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. I mean, Doubtful. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Man, they shut him down real quick. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Suji? Man. You live in Japan, so dog. Thanks to us being the fan of these. <laughs> Do you see the fucking chef? Uh, um, f f fan fantastic! The sushi is delicious. Y yeah, the fish is so fresh. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish! Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. I'm gonna slap the shit out of Ryuji. Oh my god. No, I know. But to say you've had you nothing like it. Akechi kun. Akechi? We're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How, that was you know that, you, that's just weird when you do that okay well, because i'm a psychic of course no that just makes you a weirdo <laughs> i'm only joking in truth i'm a rookie detective you're a former pupil of madarame right i have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the phantom thieves did you see that mejed has declared war on them they said they already won apparently also war? i love how i'm holding my sushi <laughs> their website was updated just a moment ago for real Ah, English again. <laughs> Wait, what? What to say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Yeah, Ryuji. Oh, um. She's uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Well, thieves. four of us are Shujin Perhaps Academy you have students. better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Hello. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? That's quite the interesting claim. <laughs> if I, I mean, what would you do if you were one of them? Um, 
I don't know. I guess fucking uh, I, uh, I spin the wheel, dude. I don't know if there's a good answer here. I want to say retaliate, but I have no idea what Medjet have done, especially after Say said that they've been inactive for years. Ignoring them is what we've been doing, and I mean, they've already claimed victory, and who gives a shit, right? I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like they're all like equally pointless, right? Like, we wanted to retaliate, we failed, because we had no information. know I guess I guess I'll say retaliate because we haven't so then it makes me look like nothing's wrong I'd retaliate hmm. so you share the majority's opinion sorry to disappoint but we're just normal high school kids don't say that anything, we that's when it gets weird say, Mr. Detective. that's when we get suspicions the arise has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles they have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. I can Furthermore, I can inform you for certain target, they do they not have a hideout to slip into. It is certainly not one of them. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. And every what? other group of high school students us? understood. I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. They just don't have a hideout. They just think they have a hideout. <laughs> you gotta report us, yeah, I know. I mean, I want to say this because I think it's really funny. But I can't. Like, I. it's just, it's too... <sighs> Throw them under the bus. <laughs> I want to, but he deserves it after today. You know what? You're making a great point. Me? You're siding with him? Oh, come on. It's a joke. I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> a wink? What the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable good cop, for me. good cop, bad I cop. I hope to you see know? you all again. What was that about? You think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. That's not true. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. What'd they say? Oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. Please do. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. How? For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. I mean, we, As we haven't done any. repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. It's true. We have we to are save Medjet. it. We are unseen. We gotta we stop Medjet. eliminate evil. That's what it says. <laughs> Sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Medjet will attack Japan. Correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. I mean, what have Medjet what done to show do that they can this? do anything and they're not just like one Only person being a shithead on the Alibaba. internet? Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to LeBron? We can talk more over there. LeBron. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, 
If we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. I mean, what if we actually tried to search, like, abusive father or something? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? <laughs> Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, we can check on Futaba's You know what, Makoto but Big Brain coming out. the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart. Tem's big brain? Maybe Beat she Makoto wants big brain? Her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I mean, I know where his house is. I agree. It's real late though. What are we going to tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty too. All right, Morgana, shut up. No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea. You from the internet that the girl's name alarm. is Futaba, so that helped you figure it out. Ah. Well, that'll help. <laughs> but still, you got it. Nobody's I still answering. love that we just dangle a fucking string. The if I had on. a box of sushi, I would Sushi's never coming? trust that string to not come Even undone. Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Oh, the gate is unlocked. <laughs> Dude, you can't go open another piece. Like <laughs> but look, the door seems to be slightly open. Send as well. in the cat. Send in the cat. Rather careless. Well, it sounds like it's going to ring. We should get inside. All right, out. that's bad logic. See, that's not how okay. it goes. Just send the cat in oh, to scout it out. Probably. Yusuke, phantom My thief, and literal thief. <laughs> All right, well, you know, we couldn't just go back to LeBlanc. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? He's got a, a look worried. at this hallway. I see like eight doors in one hallway. Please excuse us. Actually, just like a Scooby-Doo cartoon. Oh, actually, there's no doors on the left. The power went out. On. It was that. that wasn't on screen. Okay. Barely. Let's get out of here, please. Can we just go? No. What are you freaking out for? Uh, I'm not freaking out. Mm. Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? All right, bye, on. Uh, sorry. Um, can I hold your hand? Absolutely, Makoto. That's fine. I guess not. Oh, that's my shoulder slash arm. What is she scared of? I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? Is there an axe murderer? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. I thought she actually fell down a trap door for half a second. <laughs> Hi. Chase her? On, oh, well, I guess my leg is currently wrapped up. I can't move. Oh. Crap, he's home. Yo, Makoto. Who the hell are you? Don't move. Well. You hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody please. Yeah, Thames, I'm glad we had the same thought. You? What are you 
tattooing in my house. That's how you react to that? I'm shocked that's how chill you were about that. You are... Oh, good... Good evening, sir. Uh, oh, did we take our shoes off when we entered? <laughs> Nijima-san. Wait, are you two dating? Oh, boy. Why do you always Where's assume such friend? things? Such a dad. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? She was literally gonna pee her pants. She really lost her composure. You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. Yeah, but she's not knelt down in front of me. Yes. She was holding my leg. She was like gripping it. Like that sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. I still can't believe how Isn't chill that? he's being about us breaking into yeah, his house. My daughter. Could she be Utaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Utaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so... We'd like to apologize, if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, it's not like that. Dude, he gives in to the girls. Because... I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. Because Makoto and Honor here, he gives in. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. It's true. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. She'll hear us anyway, I think. Now, where do I start? Uh, I don't know, wherever you want. Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. <laughs> yeah, alone. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. A problem. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left. Leaving Futaba behind. Really? I don't want to say, did she die? I feel like he would have said, she died. Yes. She committed suicide. Suicide? Fuck. Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Oh. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she, she wouldn't even talk to I me. I understand. Was that because she couldn't get over her No, on, it's because she, he was a jerk to her. I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. And that's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part, she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, 
but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shutter. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. First of all, how old is she? Because if she's a minor, she can't say no to seeing doctor. You're her guardian. You can, you can make her go to a doctor, or especially if the doctor can come in. Something is like medically wrong. You can decide. <laughs> Second of all, fuck. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. Yeah, that's pretty harsh. Utaba is, well, a unique girl. I mean, kind, of, Tem's kind of, but like. If, if the, if she's having like medical problems, like hallucinations, she should, like, I think he has authority in that scenario to be like, you need to see a doctor. She's so quick minded I that think. conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. Then again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does she want? Do you know anything? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Well, the thing is, I think she can't. I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. Why not say I think she texted me? I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Meje. We still need clues. And both... Utaba situation and Medjet. She, she might not have a palace, but she might just have been mementos. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. She has a palace? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Is the cat asleep? Where's Morgana? Is the cat out of the bag? I haven't seen him for some time. He's with. Wait, he was catnapped by Futaba. <laughs> Somewhere around there, he'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Ah, that's true. I forgot. Oh, right. Monday, urgent assembly. It's urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjed called out the Phantom Thieves. So We're gonna scope them out. That's what I wanted to do at the start. I said to send in the cat. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be Yo, do you see those Power Ranger figurines in the left? I didn't notice them before. I'm not gonna call out all the trash. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the... She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> oh. 
So he was there. Where'd Morgana go? Yo, this means I'm free. He can't, he can't, god damn it. He can contain me even now. <laughs> god, who cares? He's fine. He's a goddamn, I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm powerless because Morgana is gone. My life is empty without the dumb fucking cat. Just going to go to sleep without even wondering I couldn't I do anything she but told sleep you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now where were you hmm. you can't underestimate my Intel gathering skills you know I was checking out the chief's house good I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young young well, she's probably about the same age as you guys. All right. At least her voice was pretty young sounding. Oh, and she had long hair, too. Great description. At the very least, Great. she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. We know Even this if already. if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. Just who is she? In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Okay. It's been a while since we've gone back to the future. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Are you surprised? That should be obvious. I mean, Medjid was... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. No, crazy, right? Finally listening, I see. <laughs> If you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back I'm to I'm never not going to throw it's sarcasm still at your ass. As to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. She's going to seriously listen to what I have to say. Am I going to chain her up? Oh, yeah! I don't know why I like doing that now. That's my new thing. All right. Just fucking scorpion, you know? Get Still, over here, the status. Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. Who? Oh, that was her mom's name, I guess. No. Perhaps it's fate. Maybe not. Regardless, we don't, don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the time we cut back to that, and they're like, Are you fucking done? Like... <laughs> I seriously holding an emergency assembly during the moon. I'm going to go to the penalties. Don't do anything that will hurt the school's reputation. Just write yourself a break I quietly. Can't. can't stay quiet with all the excitement going on. Imagine the statement was insane. People of Japan. Yeah, yeah. Private data to do. I wonder if it's curious to see the penalties react. What I'm looking forward to this summer would be perfect. It's bigger than I thought. We can't leave this be. You're right. Yep. Get the assembly out of the way. Morning. Hey. Come over there. Come on, let's go. We're gonna be late. Boop, 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 boop. All right, I guess we'll just do this. Assembly during summer vacation. Are they crazy? Are schools done for? I don't care what the principal has to say. They're so stupid. Wish could change their hearts. Why not make a post? A request might be taken. I wonder if Futaba's mom did research into cognitive shit. Something Say said to Sojo makes me think that might be possible. Man, that we didn't even get to know what the assembly was about. Paul. Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. It could be Thames. I have no idea. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. 
We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. I have a Just bad feeling this palace is going to be real fucked up. She's so like a really now. bad feeling. It's going to be Pain messed up. Through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? Yes. There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal Like, it's gonna be her right? pushing her mom into traffic oh, or something. Yeah. Like, I, So, do we all know. agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. I mean, here's my What's thing. That? Doesn't she already know that we're coming after she listened to us? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like. Or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? I don't think we have an option. Alright. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? No. I hope so. I don't know, dude. That has to be the case. Probably not. I definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. Whatever you want to think. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? I'm just lucky. You sure live up to my expectations. Firm resolve. Chain him up. I can craft an inf all infiltration tools. All right. What couldn't I craft before? Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Now the last keyword. She's a shut-in. So we just got to figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Too easy. Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. No. Hmm. Maybe an oasis? No. Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? I mean, that's a good one, but no. Uh, we don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can't. Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What Maybe it's a computer like Digital though? World? That could be There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh, getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I guess so. I suppose so. Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. I mean, we don't all have to go in there. This is Futaba's room. Would have never guessed. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? She's got no headphones answer. in. The bass is blasting on her Futaba hacker music. You have no idea there? what she's doing in there. I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. 
You're listening, right, Alibaba? Oh, hello. I'm being hit up. Alibaba? Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does Maybe she she's ashamed of her name. her name. Yeah. We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay. All right, then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Maybe we'll figure it out. What do you want to hear? What is this house deal? A house is a house. Looks like you should ask something different. What do you want to hear? I want like a metaphorical. How is living in this house? It's painful. Why? I don't know. Looks like you should. Shut up, Makoto. Do you hate it? I don't. Looks okay. Why not go out? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. Uh, what? Die? Is this going to continue? Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? That's a great word. You think that's it? Try entering tomb. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it. Yo, it's going to be a pyramid. Was that enough? You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well, what was said there? It was plenty. Well then, then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! Oh, Ryuji. You're so fucking short-sighted. Like, I just... I can't. I just can't, man. It's a desert. <laughs> oh, we all don't have shoes on. Yeah, we see that. Our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. No. Yeah. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? She's dumb. Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kamashiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? We have no idea. Oh, well, you oh, know, yeah. now that you so think of it... Shiny. I think I see a pyramid. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. Bus. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. I don't want your air conditioning. So that I don't. That worries me. Right. He turns into a bus. I don't want to know right. what his air conditioning Let's or heat are. Ugh. Anime. Yo, why are we knocked? I guess Makoto's driving. Man, they're real fucking sweaty. Jesus. How are the guys? Yo, yo, don't show me bras. Stop it. Stop that. Mm. 
what is this game? Why was my character horny all of a sudden? <sighs> I can't stand this. Oh my god! Cleavage? Like, fucking... What are you? It's so hot. The AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half-assed. The dumbest that? argument I've ever you imagined. Like punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. I think her palace would be a pyramid. I mean, that was honestly the first thing hey, I thought of. A pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. The golden hey, ratio, guys, we learned about that. We're going already. <laughs> I'm gonna melt. So freaking hot. Come on, let's get inside. I have something. Oh, I guess they're not part of the party. <laughs> Is this the way back, I guess? Yes. I can't go this way. No, I can go this way. Town in distance. Hey. Huh. I can see that city we've passed on the way here. Hmm. Probably don't need to concern ourselves with it, though. I can sense the treasure is in the pyramid. All right. What's down here? And the gate on the door is keeping us from opening it. All right. Does better than the gate in front of the house in real life. So. Desert with the pyramid and an oasis. It's quite a sight. It looks like there's quicksand down below. I can't ride it, huh? That's a shame. Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll be on that eventually. Focus. It seems Futaba's palace. So this is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. Who knows what may await us within? What is your call, Joker? Shall we head inside? Let's go. Okay. We'll find out more about Futaba's secrets in here, right? Yes. Indeed. We'll have to head inside. Well, let's head inside. Whatever. Pyramid Great Corridor. Whoa. That's so nice inside. Is this place air conditioned or something? It may be because Futaba's room in reality is AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Our clothes still haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. What? It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made up, made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. I like that. Uh, I can feel it. Morgana is like Morgana's normal self, though. I don't know. That seemed too easy, right? These stairs go pretty far. There's way too goddamn many. Don't ask for much. Don't ask. Don't ask for too much. You should always be happy we're not being attacked as we said. Oh. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. These stairs seem to be heading to the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure waits. Let's go. Well, when time to keep climbing then. Let's go. <laughs> Man, no enemies or nothing. I'm all for this shit. I don't know why I like, like. I, do you think it's because of the criminal? What happened? I suppose she just welcome us. Don't let your guard down. This is a classic pyramid, possibly complete, completely filled with traps. See it. Part of the reason why I'm walking. Dramatic tension. It's beautiful. 
So this is a Mystique of Bygone Era. Do you think so? I was about to say, do you think this is a Mario 64 status where it's just the endless staircase? Oh, there's a there's a body. Yes. Hope that's a robe. It is, okay. Hmm. There's someone there. No, it's not a robe. Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. I like her oh, get up. Yeah, you've seen her face. True. This one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Don't be like that. I kind of agree. Just chill. I'm sorry, Futaba chan. It's okay. There is no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? I mean, the possession has to be no a computer, way. right? There's no way Just it's not a computer. Her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? You asked us to. She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing. You got Money Island? What is Money Island? Depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Freeze, child. You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Bye, Futaba Chan. That's right. I did it. No, you didn't. What? I am the one who killed my mother. No, you didn't. You were a child. You didn't do anything. What was that? There's five my money rocks in the middle. Oh. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Nope, oh, now we're a threat. Our clothes. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? This again. She's having you like a audio thing. So. Why don't you say the one who her. That's right. I killed mom. I don't deserve to be alive. Place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there and say something! It's your fault! No! Someone help me! No, Futaba. Damn it! What the hell? Let's not stand here. Let's just keep going What's forward. That? I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and. What now? Oh, Indiana Jones. I think if we just get to the side and like crouch, it can't get us. Well, look what we've done safe that was too close Wait. now what even if we wanted to ask Utaba what's going on it seems the door is shut what should we do I think our best option is retreating from this won't be as simple as we expected why don't we prepare a little more and come back my thoughts exactly right. not really true then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? 
Let's make this place our hideout for a while. I mean, it sounds good to me, but that means we can only Everyone meet here at night. This place being our next hideout, then. We must take care not to be discovered by Boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. I mean, we could still be that friends. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perp. It wasn't just him, as Shut mad up. as I am about it. It was a great view. <sighs> you guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The yeah, I mean, honestly, Yusuke was admiring was architecture. Sight to behold. <laughs> Ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman after all. You don't have eyes inside it's the not car. That you weren't, but that you couldn't since yes. you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be all right like this? That has been moved here. Cool. Not again. I guess that's mom. Well, that sucked. Is doing this really going to help us do something about Medjet? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were waste. Well, how the fuck did you get in here? Medjet will definitely make a move. Alibaba! I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba! Can you really do something about Medjet? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like take down a server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? All right, I ask, you, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then. Wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling. We need to do what we can at this moment. At the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why this have to, why this have to be our blah, 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 summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Didn't you just say this is the best summer vacation ever? James can as always will leave this up to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. PP again. Hey, listen up, this is horrible. The fan site is gone. I try to access the URL, but it says the page doesn't exist. The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think it's because of Medjed? I'm not even gonna know. He doesn't know who Alibaba is. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun. There's still time until the cleanse. Hold on, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What do you think that means? Do you think that's a virus? Oh! What is it now? Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss out of all this. I'm gonna try to look into, and look into it a little more, though. See you. Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Very clearly it was. Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Not that crazy. It's probably an unguarded website that Mishima pays like two dollars a month for. Hey. Hey. Well then. <sighs> <laughs> Please give me freedom. Let me do something today. Please, God, let me do something today. Oh, my God, let me do something. Oh, please. You know what? We're going to have to seal our heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Mission start. Cool. I can play the game and do my... Yeah. Yes. No, no. Oh, my God. Four people. Oh, wait, no. Okay, hold on. Are we going to the palace today? No. wants to hang out. Ryuji wants to hang out. No. No. Ryuji wants to hang out. And 
if Kami wants to hang out. Okay. I just... I just need... A little bit of freedom in my world. <laughs> like, just a little bit. I want to try. I've wanted to try working at this place forever. Not forever, but for too long. I'm gonna finally get a chance to see what we get out of it. Hmm. Cool. From time to time, you've seen an order for a specific decay. Try to craft it if your customer wishes to succeed more times. Sure. What do you want to do? First, I want to do some shopping. What would you like? So I bought I bought those because Joey told me that if you walk, feed and take care of your plant, you also get kindness. So I'm curious. Yes, let's see what this is like. Nice to meet you. I'm Megumi Hanasaki, the owner of the shop. I'll do everything myself today, so you can just observe me and try to Good learn luck. the ropes. Let's begin. Hey. <laughs> that apron suits you. Okay. Here's your pay for today. Thank you. You did great. Great work. Come back when you have time. Okay, so that was the training day. How are you feeling? Mm. Too kindness. Damn, son. Wanna head back? Don't put me in evening. Put me in afternoon. You don't have the sack. I knew it. <laughs> uh, you're, you're back. back. Yeah, pee pee. So what's Medjed gonna do? It's hard for me to even fathom what it could be. People have really been up in arms about the whole cleanse thing. They think a global hacker group would be targeting us. Should we just ignore them? No, we have that. Sure, but no matter how you look at it, we mu we need a countermeasure. Our best would be Alibaba, but she may ha she may not be capable in of our of it in her current state. I guess we should think of some other ways to to them. Yes, it would be best to have as me many <coughs> solutions as possible. Well, we still got time, so let's come up with something good, okay? Fortune teller. Yeah, we don't have the money for that. Who's hitting me up? Fuck you. Like, I don't want to talk to you. Ever. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if Joey's a liar. Oh, yeah. Oh. Using the human. I'll bring out some life. Hey, is that kindness? You know what, Joey? Thank you. I appreciate you telling me what I can do. Can I do that more than once? No. That would have been fun. Okay. What is it? Like, what do these do? Oh, lower security level. Treasure. Oh, that's a that's like a escape rope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so I mean, there's really nothing that I care about. If I'm gonna be honest. What's up? I hope this won't take my action away. Okay, good. It didn't. I would have been mad. Um. Um, you think I could finish the burger now? Hmm? Did like we never finished the level two burger, did we? Yeah, I don't think we ever did this. So this is probably the best thing I can literally do right now if I succeed because we'll definitely get a bunch of stats. Now then. Yeah. Somehow it's a little bit. You've done it again. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. In completing this challenge to manage to crush the gravity burger, I present you with the first mate badge. And to the burger baron who defeated this challenge, we present to you our world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Enjoy your new rank as first mate. However, Please one mission still remains. How much, what, what stats do I get? You can do it. <laughs> Two of whatever that was. Two guts. Nice. Strategy, is that two knowledge? Or is that proficiency? Knowledge. Charm, apparently. Proficiency. No kindness, but you know what? That was a clutch play by me. We got plus two in almost all stats. Oh, hello? Is that you, Alibaba? Probably, right? No. Since it's summer vacation, I'll be heading to LeBlanc tomorrow afternoon. The cafe is cool and quiet, It's and it's relaxing with the Sayori there. It's a peaceful place. I'm thinking of relaxing and reading a book. Moreover, we can easily meet up should something occur. We can kill two birds with one stone. Don't worry, if I already have plans, I'll be stopping by either way. If you'd like, we could spend some time together. These kids come tomorrow, huh? Might be nice to hang out with them. Go on back to the path. Dude, why would you text me? Like, well, I don't know what time it was. It could be like 9.30, I don't know. <laughs> It's also almost time for me to go to bed, probably. Hey. One of your friends is here to visit. Yeah, but if your confidants send you a message prior, they might visit LeBlanc. Spend time with them. <sighs> hey, Yusuke. May I get a word in? Do I have time? Sure, Yusuke. Sure. Yes. Do you remember I mentioned to understand the heart? Well, I'm having a hard time grasping it. Yeah, sure. Paint captured the contents of the heart. Of the heart. Like a dream world. Dream world. The abyss held within one's consciousness. Consciousness. Unconsciousness. Ah, I see mementos. The desire that. Uh, yeah, let's just talk about this in public. The desire em that emanates from the place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You're honestly. You honestly have a unique perspective okay. on things. With the destination in mind, was head to make haste. Oh, wait, where are we going? This feels like the game grabbing you by the shoulders and saying, you should spend more time with Yusuke. I, you're not wrong. This distorted realm, tem teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart, the same with, th same thing with, the same thing which brought forth the beauty of Sayori can also create such morbid fascinations, but I actually find the ac that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Now regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my, bush, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hence tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? To considering such intense questions only served to distance me from reality. Doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Give me your brush. Please do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Hmm, the lingering uncertainty present present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. <laughs> hmm, yes, inspiration has struck. It must be it that must be it. Such brilliant <laughs> composition. Ah, my heart races. Hmm. How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. I thought he painted that to life. 2v5 or 3v5 is... Mid-battle party chain. I feel we tell those confident ability. Oh, thank goodness. On Jim's turn, you can select who you want. Yeah. Switching out party members. Yeah, but we have no one here. So, like, even if I do it, like, no one's here. What are the things we do again? Win. Right, win. To one foe? Do I have anyone that knows? That's it. Let's go. Please get on to this revelation and paint some weird goo. 
you never see it coming. It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you are here. You have my thanks. You're welcome. You're like Theo. Theo? What are you talking about? I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Oh. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. What am I holding? Right willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? Yeah, thank you. I'm very curious. The blank card the shadow dropped. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? If you say so. <laughs> Impossible. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. What do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... Recon. My picture turned into a real skill card? That's an amazing power. Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? No. If I can overcome the slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? Let's do this. It's a deal then. What was the deal? See, after all this time, I haven't had Yusuke as a confidant. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? He was just drawn. I am thou. Thou art I. It shows the birth of the Emperor. Emperor? That brings you straight to the boss room. Can't believe I've never, I've never gotten this get a <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'm sorry. He just he he gave himself he made himself look real bad to start. I never wanted to hang out with him. Duplication ability to make copies of your skill cards. Copy a skill card. Give you a blank card. And the card you want to copy. Both cards will be available the next day. Blank card will be transformed to create a new skill card. Your skill will turn to blank card. Switch momentum. Yeah, sure. This means I still don't have You've Makoto. Enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the dorm. I'll contact you once it's done. You wouldn't have hung out with him either? Yeah. He just... He made himself look real fucking weird. Like, in a bad way. I'm in your deck. Thank you for all your assistance today. You helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say I never expected my art skills would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the deal, so I'll perform to the best of my ability. You need only ask. Thanks. I should be the one thanking you. Without your help, I could not have finished today's piece. Now, we should be heading back. I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. <laughs> for the first time in a long while, my brush will dance again. See you. Farewell. Yo, where's the police and shady shit I just... Yeah, I didn't even notice those were there before. What's going to happen if, if we hit the Medjet deadline? I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something about it. We don't even know who Medjet is. What can they do about it? August 21st deadline, right? Can't wait. Oh, man, we have to wait a whole month. Oh, man. Rain, huh? Oh, who's hitting me up? All right, we're going to hang out with this girl. Well, my thinking gets sharper on rainy days. It's raining too hard today. The noise is making it hard to focus. Do you remember our promise? We can play in partner. Yes. 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 I look forward yes. to it. Yes. I'll start. Vanguard of my Togo kingdom, go forth to the front lines. Trample upon them all. 
You think to protect yourself with that paltry defense? Haha, <laughs> you're useless. Awakening dragon, let your shadowy hellfire consume them all. Dark Inferno Rook. What is she? Is this a Yu-Gi-Oh match? What's happening? Can you hear them? The wailing of dying soldiers echoing throughout the battlefield. With that incompetent king, a soldier cannot show his true bravery. Time for you to suffer. Dude, what is going on? She is too deep in. At la oh my god. Everything is in place. My right hand trembles as it released my full power. I summon forth the forbidden one, Exodia! Oh, <laughs> Check. <laughs> this. <laughs> I did it again. It's an embarrassing habit I have during a match. I, um, I tend to get very aggressive. It's as if I assume the role of a queen of the kingdom. I honestly like the attitude change. <laughs> huh? I find myself... I myself find it a bit... Well... My father had me do image training exercises when I was younger. To help me learn the rules, I gradually began to view the shogi board as if it were my own kingdom. I had fun coming up with stories and strategies for my, um, subjects. However, I've heard that people make fun of me for... fun of her on the internet. People think I'm weird or that I'm an otaku, or that I'm just crazy. I mean, I can't blame them. Certainly, I think I'm weird too. Have confidence in yourself. Yes. Your positivity is a welcome relief. I may be able to learn more from our matches than I thought. I honestly loved that interaction. That was very funny to me. All right. That will do for today. Oh, oh yeah. Another loss in the books. Something I want to mention. Do you read weekly magazines? Um, well, I'm doing a photo shoot for one. When's it coming out? Why do you ask? Regardless, they haven't decided on a date yet, so I thought you'd be surprised if I, if you saw it on the newsstand, so I wanted to let you know beforehand. In all honesty, I'm very reluctant to do it. But if I can draw more attention to Shogi, maybe the sport will become more popular. At least that's how I'm justifying it to myself. I have an interview scheduled for tonight as well, so let's end here for today. Dropping my knowledge. Mmm, let's go. I'm encyclopedic. Until next time. Goodbye. Good job. Oh my god, who's hitting me up? I swear to Christ, Yusuke, if this is you. Yo, I'm gonna hang out at your place during the day. I find my bad, I can move out whenever. I'll bring out I'm gonna bring some manga so you don't need to worry about me. You got some stuff to do, you can just normally see it. Why do you gotta text me while I'm like literally asleep? Also, who sl I sleep with my phone in my hand every time. Have the Fanfies made their move yet? I don't get it. They're just going to ignore them. I'm sure they're working on it. We're going to be in trouble if they don't do anything. I wish they'd just take care of it already. What are you doing? It's her again. How much longer are you going to make me wait? Do you not care about me reporting you to the police? Whoa, slow down. Just give us a little more time. I can't do that. We're trying our best here. If you truly cannot wait any longer, go ahead and report us. Hey! Maybe I can give you a little more time. Maybe. Alibaba doesn't know what's happening, so I'm sure she's getting anxious. We'll just have to try and appease her for a while. Hey. I know he's here. Who's hitting me up? Wanna go to the palace? No. How's my health? I'm sorry, Takemi. I would be there, but... Kasumi has hit me up, which means I'm going out with her to, and we're meeting up in Kichi Joji. Like, it's not, I don't even have to think about it. I'm sorry. She is my favorite. Hello. Hello, Senpai. It's really sunny today. Be sure to look. If you have time, would you like to do some stretches? What do you want to do? What should we do today? Something you like to do? Um. Go hang out. Yes. That would be great. I think it'd help us both de stress a little. Where shall we go? Can we go to that park yet? Mm. I want to see that there was like a Ferris wheel place. I can't. I, I'm really. This. Why can't I take mm. anyone here? I just want to see what it looks like, honestly. I guess we'll just go to the same fucking park. Hold on. This gives me one one other quick second to check something. 
I wanted to see if there was... Like, I want there to be more books. But there's no books nowhere. Which is a real shame. Hello? Got a minute? Collecting rare goods for personal reasons. Rare goods? Trade a custom hero class and premium. Talk to you. What do you say if I want to collect goods? What do I get? What's where you have to trade yourself there? And sometimes just bring anything. Not say of flux. Sorry, that's just how it is. Mm. What do you want? Sakai. Mm. And remember, don't want to trouble, wouldn't want to burden my clients. No stealing. Got it. Okay. Do I have that? MRE ration. What the fuck is that? Alright, I'm ready, Kasumi. I guess we're gonna go talk, because I don't want to take you to the same place we've been. Hello. It says she wants to do stretches, but I don't want to, like... Do we go to the park again? What do you want to do? Like, there's nowhere else. Yes. There's nowhere else for us to go. Out of all these random-ass fucking places I have. We can't go anywhere else. Mm. She says she wants to do stretches. Like, she doesn't want to go out. MREs are non-replenishable meals. Give to soldiers. Maybe the gun guy would have them. Oh, that's a good. That's a good guess. Non-perishable. I can't read. Don't worry. Don't worry. My brain's still working. I've already been to the lake. I know. It's kind of why I don't want to go. What happens if I click? Let's talk. Hello. and get going. Alright, well, she decided where we're going. If she takes us to the park, god damn it. She seems to be having fun. Talks about gymnastics. And we'll grow stronger, deeper. I'll be heading home now. Well, that wasn't... I mean, it was worth it. I still got progress. And uh, Ryuji is gone. You're back. Okay. There were no hit-ups from anybody. We're gonna go water the plant. Nuts. No, it's still healthy. Never mind. We're not gonna water the plant. That's foolish. What kind of idiot would do that? <laughs> Real quick. Don't pass out, okay? Please head to the exam room. To Cami. Whoa. This is new. Okay, which one? People can get medicine whenever they want here in Japan. There aren't many countries like- Oh, did you decide? We'll buy one of those. Just for like an, uh, we need it type situation. Accessories you're talking about. A patch that heals a bit. Wow, Why these are expensive. Look on your face. This will work. Oh. An adhesive that restores a bit of spirit. So I guess that's SP. I feel like you have this a is HP. Going on. I'd rather just like go all in. Take your time. Take care. By the way, what was that item I got? No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll go to find it. What was it? This. Ooh, max HP by 20. There you go, bud. 20% HP. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Who's here? We 
We can't ask about the bag because we're too weak. Okay. I guess that's fine. We're keeping those because they turn into stuff. Come again. Hold on, let's quickly go here. Let's look at the other jobs. What are your thoughts? Okay, um, night. But it doesn't, it's proficiency, but it's night. It's something for me to do if I don't wanna. Oh. I don't know if I care. Hmm. I don't think I need them right now. Oh, well, didn't know I would be going here. That's my bad. Who's here? Mishima, what the fuck are you doing here? Also the fortune teller's here, it looks like. But I don't have the money to afford her shit. dropping by mega fertilizer like these are gifts I still don't know what they're for take a joker to church we did no no what's up I don't want to talk to Mishima again Honestly, take me to LeBlanc. No crossword puzzle. We can talk to Sojuro. But let's call Kawakami. Oh, it's you. Oh, she doesn't work. All right. I mean, you've contacted me other days. Whatever. Let's talk to Sojuro. Let's hang out with Chief. It's only one, like it's so little with him every time. Oh, who's gonna be here? Who is it? <sighs> Are you free tomorrow? I work a work acquaintance can be attuned to an aquarium would be a waste to let them go unused. If you respond right away without putting a hold your relationship will deepen. If you immediately respond to a message, your schedule for that day will be filled. Fingers crossed that Kasumi doesn't hit me up. Travelers hub with access to trains, airports, and number of hot springs and nearby hotels and aquarium inside. It's fun for the whole family. All right. All right, Kasumi, please don't hit me up. Please don't hit me up, Kasumi. Please don't let me check my phone after and say that I missed you. By the way, I figured we're gonna stop in like another day. That sounds lovely. It's been a while since I've come to a place like this. Sorry for driving you along. It's a nice place. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. This suits you, huh? I wasn't sure if you were the, the type. Huh? Oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah, found me. I thought I recognized those glasses. Look who it is. And we even got the second detective, Prince, here too. For real? Wait, what? Why are you here? Uh, I just, I'm here for material on fluff piece. Date spots for kids these days, that kind of thing. But that's not important. Why are you with a Kechiku? I invited him out. We're fairly close after all. You are, huh? Oh, um, don't mind me. I'm just a reporter. He helps me with my articles sometimes. But who would have guessed you were friends with the famous teen detective? And unlike you, he's pretty hardline anti-phantom thieves, right? Mind if I ask a couple questions about you two? If you like, I don't really care. 
Knock her down? I was just kidding. Yo, free stuff for her? We take those? I'm never gonna talk to her. I'm no model journalist, but I'm not dumb enough to pry into high school's private life. I thought this report would be boring, but I just got a nice surprise over it. Well, see you next time I need info. Okay. You have some friends in the media, I see. As, and if I heard right, you do have some sort of professional agreement. It's nothing bad. Oh, I wasn't worrying about that. Of course, if you have to explicitly deny it, then. No, it's just a joke. I'm sorry if I'm prying. You truly are interesting. Thank you. Thanks for coming out today. I should head home. Well, that was neat. But I thought my bond would deepen with him if I said yes. Didn't seem to deepen. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medja. What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. After all, Medjet is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. You really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them, though. We are. We are who we are. Who's hitting me up? Now she wants it. Okay. We're not talking to this lady. Just leave me alone. Um, two things. One, I'm going to go see... Also, I realize I said that very weirdly, but whatever. Not even going to bring attention to it now. Um, we're going to see if we can have her legitimately just do laundry. I'm Becky, Gorilla Maid of the Maid World. The type... I just hate it. The type of work we do depends on how... Oh, it's you. As long as you request mail, your house will for just five grand. Hey. Yeah, she can come over. Then I'll head over. Okay, I'll get dropped off from the store. Please clean up your room and wait for me. I want you to do my laundry. Clean my room. Thankful. Bob will grow stronger soon. Goodbye. I know there's 22 days left. Who's here? Are we going today? Palace? No. What you up to? Going to the palace? In the arcade? We'll see. Wasn't Sojo still down there? You're just calling a maid up here when he's around? Yeah. I mean, you know, you got a problem? He'd be proud of me. <laughs> Oh my god, chirp chirp the birds. I think we're gonna. Well. Are you just still sitting at eight? Because I was gonna go work and get my kindness up. Oh, good to see you. What? But if I go hang out with Ryuji, uh, I don't know, man. Who's here? Who the heck is in front of the school? Hello. Around behind the bowling. If the target student is shooting, they could be nearby. We can gather some information. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine you want to release the video of you stealing. That's not gonna. It's a coda. Hmm. Okay, so now we got that target. Cool. Makoto. I feel bad. I like Makoto. Do we hang with Makoto or Ryuji? We don't have Makoto's confidant yet. You know? 
so. Oh, you say Makoto? Okay. Hey. We decided our plans for today? Let's hang out. Huh? Now? I guess if that's really what you want to do, it's part of your grand strategy. That's exactly right. I, see. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to take things a little slower. Do you have a minute? Seems just because it paid off, you've been working hard. I have all the knowledge you could ever want. Something I want to ask you if it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. I can lend an ear. Thank you very much. So you must find somewhere better to talk. The courtyard should do. Should go in through the back entrance. You have literally hung out, hung out with her. I didn't do that with Yusuke either, but we actually I liked like Makoto in this house. Something. Do you have a moment? I already agreed. Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way. That's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. What do you plan on doing? My first step will be to learn more about the other students. I, I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. I mean, do I agree with her? That's not true. I mean, she is right. I don't want to say that's not true. Because there is. It's the same reason that I have four friends and a cat. <laughs> you know? But I, f uh, she knows she's right. I knew it. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way. I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my precedential duties. Now, back to the topic of yeah, some loud vending Where machines. Where do people usually go for fun? Um, I mean, like, all of them, I would argue. Thames, where do you think people go for fun? I'm leaning more toward arcade and karaoke rather than movie theater. But, like... You go anywhere for fun. You can go to wherever the fuck you want. I feel like this doesn't matter. This seems like a karaoke. I don't know. We've heard nothing. Ryuji goes to the arcade, but he's Ryuji. I don't even think he does anything. It just, just stands there. It's a good hangout with friends. You're not wrong. Karaoke, hmm? My friends have taken me there a few times. If possible... I'd like to go somewhere I'm a little less familiar with. Okay. How about an arcade? I've never actually been to one. Could have guessed. Do you think you could take me? 100%. Sure Ryuji's there now. We'll go day, chill. But simply <laughs> studying won't get me anywhere. It'll be a field trip. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by it's myself. It's not that big. Well, let's get going. If Ryuji's actually in the cutscene, or like, you know, the scene, that would be very funny to me. He's not. So, this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. No, not everyone. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? Good job. That actually seems somewhat realistic. I don't know if I'd agree with that mm. part. Want to try it? Okay with you. Do you think you could teach me? Oh, 100% time crisis. Let's fucking go. Uh, no, ah! Loud play has garnered quite a bit of attention. She seems to be too engrossed in the game to even notice that. That's good. Time oh, crisis. So this is how it is. You're a real gamer. 100% cannot say that. You were really into it. Some of the 
techniques I learned here during battle. That just might work. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. That was a new side of you. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? 100%. I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. I look forward to it. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can. Makoto, do you're also you're already like useful as hell. You're awesome. I get it. We're all teenagers, so we all have self doubt. But like, just chill. There must have been someone who could come up with all your battle tactics for you. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Morgana. Now. Nah. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. I. The, the, the priestess persona. persona. That gives I you uh it buffs your, it gives you the curse of the knight buff. Power. When you when you ha when you use it, it gives you increased damage. It allows you to see skills and potential item drops. Okay. All right. Good to hang out with friends. Way, we already discussed that your sister was totally going district behind district your back and <laughs> yeah, it's true. Right? I'd like to go there as well. No, no, not for my own purposes. Where was this one? The red light disc. Okay. To tell you the truth. I recently got a report it's Mishima. Dude, it's Mishima. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. <laughs> Mishima, watch out. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for setting aside some time for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a big help. Got all kinds of new experiences today, and it's even been a little fun. Let's go again sometime. Yes. Good idea. After all, there's clearly plenty more I can learn there. But before that, we should go to the red light district, like we discussed before. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. You don't have to call me. It's fine. All right then. He's probably stalking journalist girl. You're not. You're probably not far off. Man, it's hot. Another scorcher. Can't we catch a break? Oh, who's hitting me up? I shake with desire. I don't. No, because we're going to go hang out with fucking Yu-Gi-Oh girl. Are you kidding me? But first, I'm going to go see if my plant wants food. Then we're going to hang out with Yu-Gi-Oh girl. And then we're probably going to end stream. Well, maybe we'll go into August. All right, plant doesn't want anything. Yeah, maybe we'll go into August. That way it's like we did something. We're going to hang out with Yu-Gi-Oh girl. That's her name now because she... It just what she was saying made me think of Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you for shaking my hand. I'm never going to wash it. Okay, yeah, please wash it. I can't believe you're really here in the church. I could go on the internet that you pray... I read on the internet that you pray to God for victory. Is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been. I'll be cheering for you to qualify. You've been the first woman to surpass the third. What the fuck? Shut up. Thank you very much. Good evening. Hi. Men like that approach me all the time. At first, I thought you were one of them. Nah. I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um... It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me, considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend, and he's very kind. He once told me that he wants to become a professional player, and he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we play together. Oh. So, I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shogi. It's actually, that's quite the headline. It certainly is. Um, it's not really an excuse, but the editorial staff came up with that title on their own. 
Ever since I won the female shogi league, I've been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I could contribute to the shogi world. Besides, my mother seems very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it was her own victory. So I want to live up to her expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. She's set up an interview and photo shoot, and it's as if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. Having a difficult time. A bit. But it's fine, because it's for my mother. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I should be teaching how to play instead of talking about my mother. Today I'll be showing you some very practical... It's something very practical. It's a tactic used for the reverse pawns. And what? The reserved pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking to you. Aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Chance to follow up by a backup member of Joker Down. Okay. All right. Now that I will instruct I you while you play, are you me. ready? Sharpen my knowledge. Ooh, yeah. I wonder what the next one beyond Encyclopedic is. Just genius. Until next time. Big Brain. If it just said Big Brain, I would. I that is. I'd have to make this game my favorite game in in eternity. Is that for me? Or he put me? I don't know. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, I ended up feeling much better after sharing my concerns with you, but this hardly seems fair. How can I teach you properly when I'm this distressed? It is part of our deal, too. Hmm, is it? I'm not quite sure I understand, but if that's the case, I can only hope to repay you with my lessons. You make for a refreshing opponent. Somehow, the more we exchange, the more I feel my world expanding. Teaching is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding of myself. Well, then I feel excuse me, I'll just be away. Yeah, yeah. Alright, one more day. Then we're done. I also don't know how long summer vacation is. Pee pee. <gasps> Suzui, hello. Not Suzui, Kasumi. Do you have free time today? I got permission to practice in the school gym. I was thinking of doing some training inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. You talking to your friends? Ah, oh, the beauty of youth. Are you going to head out once you're done eating? Yes. Yes. Is your plan set for today? We should finish our food, then head out. Yes. Yes. Kasumi. Kasumi. Yes. Hey. Okay. Shut up. No. 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 Hey. <sighs> Excuse me, Ryuji. I hope you still recall the details of our new battle huh? tactic. Battle tactic. Oh, you mean the stuff we talked about before the summer festival, right? Yep, still got it. Very good. What's up? What are you guys talking about? We simply discussed. We were simply discussing how it's important to spice up our battle tactics here and there. What did you say? Spice up your. Yeah, don't worry about it. We've got something crazy to show you later. All right. I'm honestly surprised at the palace this time. Everywhere we looked was just desert. Oh yeah. All the other ones until now have just been normal cities outside of the distortion itself. Thanks to that, we didn't even know we were in a palace our first time going into Kamoshidas. That's still part of the palace, though. The city may not have been distorted, but it was cognition. By the way, good thing that Morgana was in but they were social his palace for some reason. Out. But Futaba probably doesn't. In fact, I'd bet she isn't even interested in the outside world. Hence why the whole thing is a bleak desert. Understandable, considering her lifestyle. I doubt many famous criminals are shut-ins like her, though. Hopefully that means we won't have to go through all this desert business in the future. That might not necessarily be the case. Many upper class citizens travel by limo or plane, so they don't know or care about city life. A plane? Damn, that sounds pretty good. I mean, wouldn't you want to go to a palace way up above the clouds if you could? Totally. I think a flying bank is quite enough, thanks. I have to say, though, the topic of the area outside the distortion is fascinating. Depending on the criminal, there may be an exact replica of Tokyo within their palace. Oh, I would love to examine the aesthetics of such a strange place at least once. Huh. You don't got a damn thing but art in that head of yours, huh? But it's true that an observant criminal could have a true-to-reality city in their palace. Although even if such a place did exist, it's not like we'd have any use for it. 
goodbye. Huh? I had my my favorite girl hit me up. None of you come close. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Goodbye, everybody else. <laughs> I'm turning my phone off. Sorry, my phone's been acting up. It just randomly shut off. It looks like it's okay now. See? Oh, but do you want to get some food in the cafeteria first? I'll go ahead and grab us some seats first. It's going to be empty, isn't it? I'll be waiting for you in the cafeteria, senpai. I think her phone acting up might be memento stuff. Senpai? I'm sorry I called you here so suddenly. Since our talk, I've been trying to think of things besides gymnastics that I'm really invested in, and I figured something out. It's this. It should make sense if it was the app. I think so. Making bento. Mm, I nailed it. I can cook. You really need to regulate your diet in gymnastics, so I've been making my own food a lot. And so, since I wanted to thank you, I made you bento. So, this is actually my first time cooking for someone else besides my family, but I figured this would definitely help me get my confidence back. I made this specifically with your body type in mind. What is my body type? Lanky? And knowing how much you exercise, do you want it? I'm touched. <laughs> then I'm glad I put all that effort in. The chicken and eggs are to help you with fatigue. There's some beans in there too, and it's on brown rice. Weight control is important for gymnasts, and we, but we also need to make sure we've got energy and stamina too. So high protein, low fat is usually what we go for. You also need iron to maintain stamina and vitamin B for your energy. Wait, I'm getting all focused on the gymnastics part again. Well, anyway. This looks good. Let's dig in. What is that? That's my question. Huh, it's my lunch. Why do you why do you look so skeptical? I guess it might look uh, like a lot, but it's actually a little less than my usual. Don't worry, I've done the math on calories. I'll burn this all off at practice. So Come on, Senpai. You'll be done before you know it. This is... It's a familiar flavor, but it doesn't match the food. I keep trying different parts, but it all tastes like the same thing. Why is she just watching me? She could eat her own food, too. Something very familiar. Um... Holly Senpai, are you okay? Your eyes are glazing over. This tastes like... Oh, I thought that'd get your attention. That's the best part. I figured too much flavoring might be bad for you. So I only went with light seasoning. Hmm. Was it too light? Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, that's the flavor I was going for. I was trying to decide how to season these, and I figured everyone likes curry, right? So I decided to go for maximum curry flavoring. Uh, I'm sorry. Were you not a fan of that flavor? Oh, wait. Maybe you prefer super spicy ones. Man, now I feel bad. I feel bad. These both make me feel bad. But I feel like this one's more me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh no. I did this all wrong. I'll go get some of the I'll get some kind of condiment to change the flavor. Once I fix it, I'm sure you'll enjoy it more. Should I get mayo, soy sauce? Maybe miso. Miso. Why did I say miso? Do you think Dr. Maruki will have some salt? Calm down. It's okay. Oh, you're right. I should just buy something new you can eat right now. No! I'm enjoying this. It's fine. Oh, but... Well, thank you. Now we should really eat. Yes, we should. It's fine. Thank you for the meal. Whew, that was delicious. I didn't make any of it. You don't have to thank me. Thank you for complete, completely finishing your meal, Polly Senpai. I'm sorry it didn't turn out perfectly. I came up with the idea of making bento, but I couldn't decide on the flavor. Either way, I'm really sorry. I was so embarrassed, I thought it was so great when I presented it to you, and now... See, it happens is like dismissive. Ah, it's fine, it happened. Just keep at it, you could do it next time. But this one, you could try again sometime. That's you putting it out there like, let's do this again. Thank you so much. Boom! You're very kind, Polly Senpai. Next time I'll ask what you like before I try anything too crazy. I'll go buy that super spicy... What the fuck? Megaido sauce? I've never heard of such a thing. For next time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he sweat. He was like, oh, how hot? It seems like you're always helping me find my way forward, Senpai. If you didn't... If I didn't know... If I didn't have you, I'd let my failures get to me and end up in some big pessimistic spiral again. Maybe this kind of confidence can help me figure out who I really am. Maybe. That sounds right. 
Either way, I suppose all I can do is keep moving forward. Probably some I hope we can keep helping each other improve. I can sense her passion. We got her. All right. We got three of her five stars. Okay, now that we've gotten all our nutrients, it's time for the next phase. I don't mean to be too demanding, but I'm going to train you even harder than before. Make sure you can keep up. I'll do my best. We want to train ourselves in the development. Succeed in training. I feel my stamina increase. All More right. HP. Let's go. Oh, I guess we're out of time. Maybe some other I guess time. we'll end it here for today. I hope we can do this again sometime. So what's going on in our developments? Medjed hasn't taken any action either. I heard some company private data got leaked or something. Did Medjed do that? Or if anything's in other hands, do something. We'll get there. Ah. Man, it's hot. PP, Kasumi, is it you? No. Hey, I heard some company info, info got leaked. Yes, it seems some private dealings of a large corporation were publicly disclosed. It's quite, it's caused quite the stir. People are wondering if Medjet's behind it. That wasn't the promise. Indeed, I doubt they did anything before the deadline they imposed on us. This seems like a minor thing, quite different from what Medjet had done up until now. Is that so? So it wasn't Medjet. Damn, that shit freaked me out then. It's honestly kind of hard not having a knee-jerk reaction to stuff nowadays. Sometimes people react to these situations by pleading for help from the Phantom Thieves. We need to find a way to stand up for them. Can I feed my plant? Nope. What should I do? Yeah, he stays put. He doesn't know better. Will everyone come do this? If I go here, is everyone gonna show up during nighttime? Hey, hey! Oh yeah, this, where's all right? We're fine. We'll go to Harmony Alley real quick. It just keeps getting hotter. <sighs> is that not Harmony Alley? I can feel it. Hey! Is Harmony Alley the? I, for, why did I think it was the jazz club? Probably because it's got harmony. It makes me think of music, not peace. <laughs> I don't know what Harmony Alley is. What's Harmony Alley? Who's Harmony Alley? Welcome. Did not want to listen to anything. Exorcism water. Hmm? If someone asked me for exorcism water, I don't know what I'd say. What is this? <sighs> Incense. Dumplings. It's actually just buns. This is where I just was, wasn't it? In. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Alright, I'll be honest, I don't know where Harmony Alley is. Welcome! Hey! What do you play? How about you play darts however you have the ability to invite your teammates to play with you? Playing together will help you strengthen baton pass. Yes. You can also see our party members play darts. Okay. Right. What do you want to do? I mean, let's call someone. Look, there's only three, so hey, we'll just hey. max out Ragey if we can. Thank you. And then this will be a great way to end the stream, I think.
Maybe I'll actually not fail this time. Does everyone show up or does just Ryuji show up? Nope. Hey. All right. Yes. This time I will remember the rules. Yeah, let's go. I remember you can't go beyond or else you just lose. Yeah, let's go. Now I don't remember what my strat was. I think it was like this. But like that. Oh, that missed. There we go. Oh my god, that was on the line. Whatever. We got a hundo, that's fine. I got this. Don't need to see all the animations. I'll be honest. Eleven. Okay. Not bad. All yours. Dude, I love the sound. Do -do 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 -do. Sounds like a game show. Real? We're just making up ground right now. Oh, the old triple, triple 20. Three in a bit. All right, Ryuji. All right, I got this. Okay. We did it. Right? Let's go! With a round to spare. Nice pair play. No way. We did it. Zero points. Dude, aren't we just the greatest team? <laughs> Man, I feel so motivated right now. Maybe because yeah, I knew you were counting on me. Oh, yeah. Woo! I feel like I've learned something by playing on a team. Woo! Very well. I shall go next. Let us dance with darts. Let's do this. 301. Everyone starts with the basics. Let us go. So we're playing the same thing, but it's 301? That's fine. Indeed. Scoop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Yikes, that was oh. not great. That's more of what I want. Perfect. How could this be? Okay, Yusuke, you got this. It's my turn. My draw. Okay. All right, he did fine. Take it from here. I will do my best. Okay. So I need a 20 and a 2. Thanks, game, for telling me exactly where to go. We've done it. Not bad. This is good. Proficiency. And what was this charm? More proficiency? That was so much fun. And everyone loved it? That should do it for now. Okay, that was good shit. Oh, someone's going to be here tomorrow. Oh. Who is it? Who is it? I'll be intruding on you tomorrow. Your house manages to be a cool disguise. But yeah, yeah, no, I don't we're not I'm sorry, Yusuke. We're not going to be hanging out tomorrow. That'll be a no from me, dog. All right. Well, we're gonna end it here. Hey. Yeah, I know. Hey. I know. I know. 
Still can't feed my plant. All right, we're gonna end here though. Let's do it. Do a fat save. We got into August. Next stream, we're definitely taking on Futaba's palace, and we'll hopefully fix her brain. But yeah, yeah. Night Thames, thanks for making it all the way, you crazy person. Playing Animal Crossing all night. <sighs> yeah, this was fun. I had a good time. So some Animal Crossing into Persona shenanigans. Have a good rest of your night. I should be back. It might be tomorrow. It might be. It might be Tuesday night. We'll see. But yeah. Either way. Thanks for hanging. Have a good one.